Just let me know when. Howdy! I think we, we are live. Good. Um, yes. As always. And no comments about the, the tardiness, because remember what happened last time. We, <laughs> we walked away without a show last time. Um, so, we are in the middle of lining up our um, the other half of our discussion. We had some uh, timing and some other issues that we were, we're currently dealing with. So we're straightening that out and we're going to get um, them in as soon as we can. I'm going to be working in the, in the back trying to get that hurried up. But in the meantime, I figured uh, while I do that, it would be a perfect opportunity to kind of let Reds take the lead and explain what happened to him the other night and um, why he is uh, here. And um, also the bacon connection, I think, is the most interesting <laughs> part of it. So, Reds, I'm going to turn it over to you, and then I'm going to try to get us a flat earther in here. Yeah, a lots and lots of bacon. Radiator bacon, actually. Radiator bacon, you know. Uh, have you ever tasted bacon that came off of a radiator? No, but that's... Um, I'm hungry now. <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't be. You totally wouldn't be after seeing this shit. If, if, okay. if you ever get tired of Red's rhetoric, um, radiator bacon would be an awesome uh, handle, by the way. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, the reason why we're waiting is because Debbie can't computer... But that's a story for another time, apparently. So I guess uh, can't hear Steve. Oh, there we go. Apparently, it was just a Google hiccup. Let me see. Not exactly sure what the hell's going on. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and um, explain what happened. All right. So what happened? So the Geek Room decided that it would be a very uh, great idea to have me debate some flat earther who I've honestly never heard of before. But it was a flat earther that was very pissed off in the comment section of my debate where I was debating Sean G. So I said, okay, let's go ahead and schedule it for this time. I'm going to be in Tampa with my family, but I will drive back. And when I get home, I'll hop on my computer. We'll have this debate. All will be, you know, swell. Unfortunately, in order to get back to my house, I have to drive through the ass end of nowhere. And when I say the ass end of nowhere, I mean no streetlights, no cities, just a road and darkness. That's basically about it. So I, I'm, I'm hauling ass trying to make sure I can make it to the debate in time. And I'm doing about 65, 70 miles an hour. And there is a car coming towards me. And so what I do is I had my brights on. So I turn my brights off because contrary to popular belief, I'm not a complete dick, just mostly a dick. So I turn my brights sure? off. Uh, well, it's, it is a stretch. I will, I will admit. It is I, I, would about, I would put about a 99% dick. I, I am 99.9% There's always room for improvement. Dick. Yes. I'm a 99.9% .9 dick, but in that 0.1%, I will at least turn my brights off so I don't blind the living fuck out of you. So basically, I turn my brights off, and I continue to drive, and all is well. And then what happens is that three boars, pigs, hogs, whatever the fuck you want to call them, I call them pieces of shit, honestly – they three of them three of the fuckers are literally standing in the middle of the road and there's no time to react there's no time to hit the brakes there's no time to swerve otherwise i might have rolled the car i just completely smash into all three of these pigs my car ramps the fuckers and since my car had some air time it landed back down and surprisingly was still able to go straight. 
So after all this happened, um, you know, you know, the shit scared me. It scared the shit at me. And so I think I shit myself over a dozen times in that. Did you see Jesus though? I, I, I did not see, di I, no, I did not see Jesus. What I saw was pieces of pig splatter all over my windshield. That's what I saw. And so. Well, if you're a Muslim, yeah. you would have been fucked. Oh, you know, actually what I was thinking of doing is taking my car to a Muslim mechanic, but that's a story for another time. Um, so the car remember, rams these. Remember him saying he, he is not always a dick. There's, there's no. That's that 1% one one improvement that he's going to get. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, after my car ramps these fucking pigs, it crashes back down. I make it off to the side of the road, and then my car starts smoking. And I'm like, Fuck. So yeah, that happened, and you can actually see a dash cam of video of this accident uploaded on my channel. So if you want to go to my channel, you can watch my accident. It's literally called My Car Accident with a frowny face, and you can see just how these pigs just fucking came out of nowhere. I couldn't avoid it, smashed the car, and that was that. So I had to call the geek room and cancel. I called the police, and yeah, I called the geek room before I called the police. So priorities. I was like, "Sorry, I can't make it. Definitely Sorry, priorities. I can't make it." I, I mean, listen, when someone is wrong on the internet, that's the most important thing in the world at that moment. So, so I basically <laughs> <need the> priorities. <laughs> I know exactly. So I basically did a few things there. One, I wanted to verify conservation of momentum, which I did. Turns out it's true. And <laughs> Physics still works. Physics good, still works. Good to know. Uh, we need to get a flat yeah. earther in here so you can explain that to them. Yeah, my, my car didn't like it all that much. So here's what happened. The radiator was completely fucked. The frame that actually has the motor mounts attached to it also completely fucked. The engine actually shifted and went further back into the vehicle. Uh, there was three quarters of an entire pig wedged in the back somewhere, so much so that the tow truck guy that came here to pick my vehicle up from the insurance company actually vomited in my driveway. I had to rinse Ooh. it with a garden hose. You know, I, I got to tell you, I was impressed, though, that after you vaporized the, the pigs, your car didn't really even shake. I mean, you didn't lose control in any way. That was yeah. impressive because I I, I would have been going seventy. I hit three pigs. I would have been in the ditch in a second. How did you show that driving? video on here? Because uh, YouTube has some uh, issues with the uh, cruelty part of it, and so yeah, uh, and so just to kind of uh, you know get around that, what I did was I posted the video, had it playing, and then I freeze framed it just before the impact, like literally two frames before the impact. So you can see just how fucking bad it was and so like there was no avoiding it whatsoever so i call my insurance company they pick my shitty car up and then they tow it off 40 miles over yonder so they can do their shit and now I'm without a vehicle and i have been without a vehicle uh for over an entire week so now what's been going on is that i've been missing work having to beg for rides to and from work and that's been a complete clusterfuck so now a few days later, here's what happened. I get a call from the insur insurance company and then they say, okay, you fucked this car up pretty well. And I go, so how badly? He goes, so badly that's totaled. And I'm like, ah, oh. so that happened. Now, this is the part where I have to kick my own ass because I should have read the paperwork when I actually bought the damn thing to begin with. Because when I bought the car to begin with, I asked from the dealership, quote, everything. I want everything. I want every protection under the sun, period. And I thought that had gap coverage added to it. I was wrong. Because when you purchase the vehicle and then you take out a loan on it, you're going to owe a little bit more than the car is worth. That's a gap there, a gap between what you owe and what the car is worth. Gap insurance covers that gap and will essentially pay it off and then you have a clean slate. Well, when I got the phone call for my insurance, they, of course, were offering me less than what the car was actually worth. And gap coverage, the non-existent gap coverage that I have, um, isn't going to cover shit. So now I am in the hole what the fundraiser is for, uh, which is $2,500. That's how much I owe on the vehicle, and that's what the fundraiser is for. The fundraiser is just so that I can break even so that I can go back to the dealership and basically start from square one 
and sign my and sign my soul to the devil once again and be in debt again. Oh, it is the American dream, isn't it? That's, so that's the best way. You get that credit and you just use it and you get in debt again. You use yeah. Yep. So it, it, it's just one reds rhetoric zero. And and we are right now. I think well when I did the math, but I think a couple of people had donated since it was fifty two percent towards the goal. Um, and that was only from one day, and that's before, I think, well, you had a fundraiser on your channel. We're yeah, right now. The link is in the video description uh, for the GoFundMe, so. Exactly. And so here's basically what's going on here. Um, I have no vehicle as of right now. Um, I'm having someone pick me up so that I can make it to work tonight, which is going to be a total clusterfuck on how I'm going to get back, because to be completely honest with you, I haven't figured that out yet. So I'm on my own for there. So what's going to happen is here. Once the fundraiser goal is met, I contact the leasing company or the company that has the lien on my vehicle or, you know, the rest of the cash and I pay them off and I basically tell them to get fucked and I'm done with them. I don't want to do business with them ever again. And that is it from that clean slate. I can go ahead and go to a dealership, purchase another vehicle with no money down, which is what's going to have to be because this shit has essentially drained my finances and basically start from scratch. So that's what this is. That's what this is all about. Anything that you guys donate is going to be helpful and words cannot describe how much I appreciate it. We're already over halfway there and it means the fucking world to me that you guys have been so generous. It really does. And I hope that as soon as we get a flat earther in here, I can give you guys one hell of a show. Please grab She's your baseball protection of a mitts and a waterproof receptacle and a metric fuck ton of alcohol. Because trust me, you are going to. Now, now I got I to gotta ask, though, how, how much was that bacon worth, you think? Uh, uh, about about the about the price of a 2015 uh, Chevrolet Cruze LT. <laughs> I was just no, I meant more if you if you could have converted that bacon into sales and sold it. You know, bacon's not cheap. I mean, I mean, you got you get some high end bacon. I like the old uh, apple. What is it? Apple. Debbie, smoked, you're right on time. You know. Mm. Hello, fellas. Wow, look who you're showed right on up, time. Miss Debbie. Hola, cómo estás? Cómo estás? Bastante bien. Okay, so who's all here? Okay. We have Kyle, myself, it's... you, and Red's rhetoric. Okay, there's cutie Kyle. Okay, Red. C cutie, cutie, what hey, cutie hey. Kyle? Is that, is that his new nickname, I'll take you, Kyle? Man. Really? I'll take you. <laughs> I am not calling oh, you you're gonna make Kyle. Me now, Debbie, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> wow. Jeez. So, um, Debbie, have you and Reds actually ever uh, spoken before? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Have you? You have. Yes. Oh, yes. I, did, I was unaware. Where Where was this? Uh, uh, I think it, this was, uh, go ahead. At, uh, uh, J.D. Kane show? Oh, I, okay. Yeah, okay. I, I heard about that. Okay. It was the snake pit, actually. If you want to be, uh, I, uh, be quite frank, it's. Uh, <laughs> well, we have Cutie Kyle in here, and Cutie Kyle's not a snake. Talk shit Tuesday. I can't believe I'm calling him Cutie Kyle. What the hell? I can't believe it either. It, it's okay coming from Debbie, oh. Steve. It, it, yeah, for it, me, it's. You know, back in in, in grade school, when they were they um, they would tell you about if you ever had a an adult approach you and you started to get that uh oh feeling, you know, that you should run to the nearest that's, adult and tell that's them. Me. You're giving me that uh-oh feeling, Steve, right now. I'm feeling it. Right I'm here. cutie Steve. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, Debbie, thank you for uh, jumping in last minute. I know uh, the, the, the time framing was probably my fault on that. But um, nonetheless, you are here, and um, Reds was just explaining his car situation and had just finished. So it was all perfect timing, and it all worked out. How about that? Okay, I don't know how long I can stay, but I'll stay for a little bit as long as I can hold out here. Sure. Well, let's. Um, I can't guarantee how long. Well, uh, Steve, you just caught me at a bad time. That's all. Uh, yeah. Well, as, as long as it as long as it takes to get to uh, to his goal, so the more people can actually kind of chip in and help him out, uh, the faster we can end this and get it done with. Because uh, you know reasons here. Uh, so okay. So I guess you guys have talked before. I don't know what you guys talked about, but as you guys know, Debbie believes the Earth is flat, and Reds well. He, he believes that it's not actually he kind of knows that it's not but so uh, do you guys want to like just i don't know what you guys want to do to be honest with you i have uh, a good starting point good yeah remember, you know what I cutie remember, kyle go ahead i remember I, last I time debbie from now on, with us we um with with kirsten 
you actually um, you referenced red reds in real uh, relation to rockets, correct? Yeah, uh, that's correct. If my memory serves me, let's start there. What was your um, what was your statement last time um, about reds and rockets? Okay, so I was just he was telling talking about the uh, the so called footage that he captured of this rocket going backwards. So we had like just like a discussion about that. And he was explaining that these rockets, like, uh, to go backwards, it would have to launch boosters to go in the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that true? And you don't think that's the case? No, I don't see how that's even impossible. I think it's impossible because if you launch, if you launch the boosters to go backwards, you're still going to have to have some kind of momentum going up on the opposite side of the rocket. So it's going to land, like, you know, safely on its platform. Okay, uh, Reds, do you want to uh, kind of pick it up? Uh, sure. Uh, this uh, conversation uh, revolves around suicide burns. Uh, that's literally what they're called. Essentially, if you are falling uh, in I a direct... a dead rocket, right? N uh, <laughs> well, sometimes they do explode, uh, yes. Yeah, so, it's a rocket that took its own life. Yeah, and I've seen the explosions yes. before, and this one just happened to make it? Uh, yes, this one just happened to make it. That is correct, because so footage will... Yeah, yeah, footage would show that it did not blow up. And so not only that, but I wasn't the only one to actually see this occur. A lot of people actually saw it occur. Um, people so think that a, people did think that anybody out there. Hang on. Let me finish. People think that I'm the only one out there. I'm not. There's literally a crowd of thousands all the way from Port Canaveral all the way up to Titusville that are seeing this shit happen. And anyone can see it for themselves. All they have to do is travel on the day that they're doing a boost back, and you can see them doing a boost back. That's what's called a boost back. And, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but was there, Vincent Jones was he, with you during that entire time. He was in the live chat. He was there, correct? Yeah. Uh, Vincent Jones, Astronomy Live, and there's a few other people that I made friends with, but they aren't YouTubers, so I'm not going to say their name here. But uh, what we do is that we have, uh, we bring multiple cameras. We bring two P900s, a, uh, a, a Panasonic Lumix DFC FC70, two GoPros, a, a uh, Canon T5i attached to an LX200 telescope with auto tracking capabilities to basically capture this thing in as much detail as possible. And all footage is showing that a rocket went up came back down and landed right where it was supposed to. Okay, was there okay, so was there any flat earthers there to witness this and capture it? I have invited them. None of them have taken me up on my offer. I actually have a friend who has invited a flat earther to to go to one of Red's rocket launch video things um, and he would pay for the entire thing. Uh, they didn't take him up on it. Yeah, that guy is actually named Jaronism, um, uh, or as we affectionately call him, Jism. Um, so I told him that if he were to get back in contact with me uh, during a time when they're having these boost back missions, I would not only pay for his flight, but I would pick up the guy from the airport. So like everything would basically be there. He would just have to show up, and he has yet to take me up on my offer. Interesting. Okay, so I don't I don't know why he hasn't uh, joined you. I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> you and me uh, both. Suspicious that, that we don't have any other flat earthers out there with you. So is uh, ev so basically, in order to be trustworthy, do you have to be a flat earther? Yeah, nobody's blocking uh, them from going. If they have, if take if they take the stance on flat earth, and uh, you know, it just would make sense that you have somebody with you or somebody in the crowd who you know. Reg, did you tell any flat earther you they can't go? They can't see it they can't view it did you did you block that i mean here's the thing even if i told flat earthers to not go see rocket launches it's kind of difficult i mean to <laughs> to execute in practice because um i'm not their overlords and i don't have a vast army of people behind me to basically keep them from seeing a rocket launch not only that but like i said there's people all the way from port canaveral all the way up to titusville we're talking about literally 40 miles all around this area that people can go park their cars and see this shit for themselves. This it's it's out in the open. Did you say uh, Port Canaveral, Red? Yeah, just yeah, Port Canaveral, uh, where they have the cruise ships. There is a uh, there's a turn off that you can go and you can actually see these rocket launches from there. And I I can tell you right now. I mean, I I used to live right 
not far from Vandenberg Air Force Base, and I, I still not too far from Vandenberg, at least not huge amount. But uh, yeah, I've I've seen them go up. I mean, I've I've watched rockets go, you know, and you can see the. the... Maybe Debbie should take him up on his his offer. Uh, no, I don't really care about it because uh, either. Oh, boy. Either what? I don't think that I need to. I don't need to go. Because I, just, I mean, really, it's kind of silly to think that these rockets can go backwards. It's, they're they're unstable enough. So even if you saw this happening with your own eyes, you would still not believe it. Okay, something comes down. So it, I mean, could be something else. Maybe a balloon. Who knows? I don't know. Could be what? It still doesn't change. The, it does still doesn't prove a globe, though. No, no, but what, mm. what could it be? What? I didn't hear what she said. I didn't hear what you said. I don't feel that I need to to. Is she dropping out? If it, if it, I can't see it going out into outer space. Okay, but what you, you said... You're seeing it, something land on the platform. But Brad said if she you said actually balloon. saw a Falcon 9 landing, if you actually saw it come back down, what would you think it was? I don't know. Uh, okay, so... So let's let's go let's go beyond the rocket. Let's let's leave the rockets for now and go to. How about the let's basics. go to the platform because one of the platforms they showed uh, had sure. some um, kind of anomalies. The shadows were all incorrect, so I'd build my own little rocket and uh, put it out in the sun, and it was the uh, the shadows were incorrect on the uh, platform. It was a SpaceX rocket platform. Okay, so I yeah. don't know of any shadow uh, discrepancies. Do you mind showing me an image and showing me what you mean? Okay, let's see. Here we go. Because it's really hard to say that these things are not happening when I've seen it for myself and filmed it right, for myself. Yeah, you and, you, and you, you would kind of think if they're faking it, they get the shadows right. Uh, you're promoting the globe, and the globe has been proven uh, to be a fairy tale, basically. Ro rocket, <laughs> rocket, la you... rocket launches have absolutely nothing to do with the shape uh, of the you Earth. You weren't there in the rocket to go in outer space to prove uh, anything, so... Uh, this oh, is... you have something going backwards, and I really highly doubt it's going backwards. It's you can, going you, you can, way. you can doubt it all you want, except there's only one of us that actually has video evidence backing up. Uh, their I don't position. care what you got, though. I'm not seeing any other oh. authors that are, um, you know, well, catch, capturing these things go backwards. I, I see. So, so basically, because I'm not a flat earther, that means I'm not trustworthy. Well, there's a lot of flat earthers, and the, the movement's uh, growing as we speak. So I haven't seen all around the round or any kind world, of. Yeah. Uh, uh, footage to prove otherwise, so that's from my standpoint. I, 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 I will admit that Flat Earthers do have members all over the globe. Yep. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we agree. <laughs> and I'm sure One thing we all agree great. upon. Sure right. Th Florida. Thank you, Debbie. We do it. We do agree I'm with sure you on that one. Uh, near Cape Canaveral. <laughs> I think I think everybody in the live chat, the 220 people we have watching, just literally agreed with Debbie for the first time since she's been around. I I don't see us getting past the the rocket issue, so um, let's let's go to the basics and okay. start small. I'm sorry to interrupt here. Um, Uber Flat Earther sure. wants to join. Uh, sounds uh, sure. Okay. I don't mind. Okay, oh, yeah, like uh, let me go. Uber's okay, so let me go ahead and just and just give a uh, a small principle, uh, just so that people understand how this works. Okay. All right. So, uh, SpaceX Falcon 9 has a. Uh, a recoverable first stage. So when the rocket takes off, the first stage separates from the second stage. The second stage kicks on so that it can carry the payload, whatever it is, to orbit. Um, the first stage has RCS thrusters on the top. These thrusters maneuver the uh, first stage to go backwards. And what happens is it does a retrograde burn. And so when it burns retrograde, it starts boosting back to the space center. At that moment, grid fins actually pop up, and using uh, using the uh, medium of the air, these grid fins will pitch and yaw and adjust so that it can direct the booster to where it's got to go. It will then do what's known as an entry burn to avoid burning up in the atmosphere. It will then do a landing burn, and this is the final burn where the landing legs deploy and it lands on the, uh, on the SpaceX uh, landing zone one, or LZ1 as it's called. In order for me to film this, I go to Port Canaveral, and I film it with my Nikon P900. Astronomy Life films it with his LX200 with auto tracking capabilities, and we have filmed a continuous shot with no cuts whatsoever from it lifting off to it landing again in one continuous shot. That was badass. So it shows that not only do these things lift off, they also land as well. Uh, I really doubt that because um, there's not enough uh, 
oofing that rocket to, to do a rotation around the earth. Go up there and then come just magically land backwards. You'll never convince me of that. It doesn't actually go around the earth at all. The first stage doesn't. It literally goes up and back down. It goes up and it just move. It just circles around and comes back down. Reds, I, I don't. I don't know what the formula is for oomph. Do you know what that is? <laughs> uh, I would like to know what the formula is for yeah. oomph myself. <laughs> what, what what do you what do you mean by by oomph? Because I assume if we're talking rockets, you're speaking of delta v, right? Um, just like uh, the propellants they use. All and right, not, so not like uh, to what get up is in the, the atmosphere, rest? gain velocity, and then just do a magical what like, U-turn and just land backwards? I'm what, calling bullshit on it. I, actually, uh, that's something I'm very ignorant on. Um, I was hoping you could educate me on this. Uh, what propellants do they use? Uh, I don't know. I'm here uh, they use several propellants. So okay, so we don't know the propellants we they use, so we don't uh, know the the specific impulse no, per unit of propellant, remember. right? I can't remember everything. Sorry. Of course. Okay. So I'll go ahead and explain because I can remember everything because I'm just awesome uh, that this way. This is a low payload, right? Uh, it, it's a payload going to low Earth orbit. And so basically there's two stages on this rocket. You have the first stage, which is the bit that lands. And then you have the second stage, which is the bit that actually takes the payload to orbit. So basically the second stage is what actually does the work of getting the payload into the orb into the correct orbit. The second stage is not recoverable. The second stage will never come back to earth. It is essentially discarded after the mission is done. It's only the first stage that is actually returned back to uh, back to LZ1. So what happens is that they launch the rocket and then they leave a little bit of fuel um, in the tanks to be used later, and the second stage will take off from there. They only need to fire the engines two more times and only for a brief moment in time. And there's only one engine that's actually being used, and that is the center Merlin 1D engine. And so since they only have one engine, they are only they're burning propellant going down, which gravity will help them the rest of the way down. There's really nothing else they need to do at that point. So one engine with the help of gravity with no payload means that it is a lot more fuel efficient and it has enough left over, enough delta V left over to actually land. It's right on the razor edge of what's possible, but they've done it multiple times and I filmed it multiple times. Uh, can we? Do you want to add uh, Uber? Is that okay with you, Reds? I mean, uh, I, I don't want to overwhelm you with, uh, you know, flat earthers. Um, but uh, I, I honestly, uh, why not? To I honestly, I, I honestly don't know who he is. I'm. You uh, have my blessing. Uber flat. Uh, he's, you know, he's a little, he's a little more willing to 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 listen to evidence. I, I don't think he's going to change his mind, but. Well. Okay. Um, and while he, you're doing that, I'll go ahead and bring up some of my uh, rocket launch videos because uh, of all the videos that I make, I'm the most proud of these. Okay. Yep. So let's was, see. Was that, a, was that a groan of displeasure from Debbie? <laughs> most likely. Okay. So um, I have a video posted on my channel called uh, mm -hmm. uh, Cool Hard Logics Launch. It was a launch that happened on 8-14 of 2017. Uh, I caught this launch with uh, three cameras. The one camera is posted on Astronomy Live's channel. Uh, two of the uh, camera angles are posted on my channel. I will show you the ones that are pertinent to my channel. Globe uh, agents. So... We can call us globe agents. Honestly, if, I wish we were getting paid. Let's put it that way. I mm -hmm. wish we were getting paid. Mm -hmm. Give you a riot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and screen share this. And uh, hopefully you guys can see it on your end. So bear with me for a quick moment. All right. So let's I, uh, do this. Uber, I've invited you. So you should be able to come in. Come on in, Uber. We're All calling right. Uber. We're calling an Uber. Uber. Calling an Uber. Calling All right, so I'm going to have Uber driver. So that's yeah. I'm going to have to share my entire screen, guys. So I cut it off so that no one else can see. So can you guys see this uh, player right here? Uh, yes, sir. Yep. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is, well, first mute the audio because we don't actually well, need it. The problem is I'm screen sharing Kyle for this. Um, I, well, you know what? I might well, have to do this. Hang on, hang on. Uh, there we go. Kyle, I need to go away for a minute. Yeah, you're going away for a minute. Okay, so can uh, yeah. am I screen shared? Yeah, they can see it. They can see. Mm -hmm. it. 
All right, perfect. So this is the uh, rocket in question. So I'm just going to skip ahead of this. So uh, hang on one second. Let's do this. OK, so this is the rocket going up. And what you're going to see here is called MECO. MECO stands for main engine cutoff. There's main engine cutoff. And here you see the two halves separate. This is the first stage separating from the second stage. There's the front thrusters right oh, there. Oh, that's going up? That's, yep. There's the oh, rocket yeah. doing its flip. There's the rocket doing its flip. There's second stage ignition right there. And what you're seeing now is boost back. So this rocket just did a flip. There's boost back. There's RCS thrusters. Those, well, these are the really fast. You cannot see the... Uh... the the uh, It'd be jet... nice if you had this in zoom and not so, you know, it's really small. You don't have a nice zoom camera? This is at, I can see this, this thing at, up close. This is at this is a Nikon P nine hundred at yeah. max zoom. Oh boy! Yeah, I it's really, really can't see what's going on here. I mean, just high like... altitude, high altitude ro rocket launches are kind of a pain in the well, ass to film. Uh, sorry. Then here's what we see here. Now, what you're gonna see here That's on this rocket there. is that you're going to actually see uh, jets firing from the top in all directions. It looks kind of cartoonish. And these and these jets are called RCS thrusters. So let me go ahead and uh, show you this right here. All right, it's going to happen in a few seconds. And let's see, happens right about, right. See, oh, hang on. Trying to uh, skip wow, ahead. Oh, right there, right there. Look at that. You can see the moon. Look at miles that. Away, but we can't Look uh, at get that. this. See Look at that! Of, uh, that was rocket. that was amazing. Oh. Hang on, I'm gonna, uh, gonna I'm gonna, 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 gonna repeat I'm gonna repeat I'm gonna repeat that I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat that one more time, uh, since it was clear you weren't paying attention. See those uh, uh, RCS thrusters? Couldn't really see anything actually. That is the uh, awesome RCS really, really thrusters. Sucks. We can't get a zoom. So call, you know, now with it so now with it coming back down, this is what this is a, a entry burn right uh, here. So what you're seeing here is entry burn. That's so that the ro rocket doesn't burn up in the atmosphere, and then as it continues up oh, too far, so this oh. is uh, so this is the rocket as it's. Oh, I see some far. editing there. I didn't see the. Oh uh, no 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 no. And so yeah, see, here you can actually see on. the rocket going through the yeah, clouds editing, as the rockets are going through the that clouds. Was, it was way up there. You will see the uh, rocket the actually platform. kick oh, on shit. again. So there's the rocket one more time. So yeah. here you see it going through the clouds. Now this one is is pretty cool. On the side of the rocket, well, I'll pause it right here so that people can see. On the side of the rocket, you see these There's things extended I've, outwards. To me. This is these things extended logo. outwards are like called great, grid fins. So these grid fins actually take the aerodynamic drag of you know for directional influence of the rocket, and they steer it to where it has to go. The uh, gimbaling of the core engine will allow it to actually steer itself to where it has to go. And here you can actually see the gimbaling engine take effect. Now here on the side, you have landing legs. These landing legs deploy, as you can see right there, and they uh, land this, at LZ1. Now uh, here, fire coming out of it like that. The just, rocket never actually yeah. gets completely out of view. As the rocket never gets completely out of view, you can actually see that there it is right there standing, and that means it did not explode oh, on Oh, it's like impact. some smoke was out of there. This is broadcast at best. So there you can see uh, home home footage of yeah, a rocket still, landing. Some editing and not, you know, can't really good see it. Really clear. nice. That was good. I, really, I thought really that looked nice. spectacular. Nice. I've seen, I, you know what, I've fans, seen that video. Nice. Well job, well job. Nice you know, editing. Thank I, you. I have seen that video multiple times, and still I'm always amazed by it. I mean, obviously most of us have seen that thing so many damn times, um, and it's still yeah. amazing. I, 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 I am blown away by the fact that we can do that kind of shit. I mean, to me, yeah, exactly. I look at it and I go, God, the, the technology they must have to, to, to have something like this is beyond the, the, the what I would imagine growing up as a kid. And here we have somebody just going, oh, well, it's just editing. I, I don't think that people realize how much goes in to making a rocket like uh, that, how much science and technology. Yeah, we can't see a good, clear uh, capture of it. It seems to me that the zoom lens, you didn't want to zoom in. I don't know what's going on. Well, let me ask uh, you. By the way, you'll never you ask me that thing later backwards. Uber, Uber, are you with us? Are, are you are you with us, Uber? Yeah, what's do, up, guys? Do you think that was a real Hi, rocket Uber, launch? Uber. Your Uber's a flat earther. Do you think that was a real rocket launch? Uber? Well, yeah. Well, like, I think something went up in the sky, but okay. I think it was like a big bottle rocket. 
That's all. <laughs> I don't think it went rock. to space. <laughs> okay. A okay, rock. but something Silver. went up in the sky. It's not like Silver. Red just created it on yeah. CGI, because I, I can tell you right now, he doesn't do CGI. If anything, he doesn't reverse, know, I don't think he even knows how. If it's anything in reverse, I, they put some smoke around it to make it. I'm not high enough for this conversation, I don't think. <laughs> it was a big bottle yeah. rocket, it's, Kyle. It's a big bottle rocket. Yeah, there's uh, there's okay. there's there's one, there's one problem with uh, with the assertion though. Let me just uh, repeat uh, repeat something. I have actually gotten a lot of uh, a lot of uh, flatters of saying that my footage is just a regular rocket launch, but in reverse. Unfortunately, when the rocket lands, you actually see the smoke, and that means that if I play it backwards, the smoke would actually be going back into the engine. Uh, rockets don't work that yeah, way, love. Doesn't work that way. Well, it's easy to edit yeah, footage. I know. I. I cringe sometimes when I hear what people say, guys. Let's start. Let, let, let's find a, let's, let's find a, start, a good starting point. Now that we have the the whole family here and everybody's ready to go, let's let's find a starting point that we can all go at instead of the the kind of side thing that's happening now. So okay. uh, let's go with a very basic, simple start. Okay, um, at Debbie or Uber, you can you can take the lead on this. What is your um, number one proof that you would say that you have that the earth is flat? Just pick one and then we're going to let reds um, count. Um, I would so, say the natural physics of water, how it behaves. It's um, level, finds its level. It's contained, contained in ocean beds, ocean floors, riverbeds. Um, that's the governing laws of nature. It's the way it works. Um Okay. I haven't seen any evidence um, uh, that says otherwise. Curved water, bent water on its surface. Okay. Uber, what would you say your your um, piece of evidence would be? I, I don't think that we've been up there. I, that's a, as that's far, an okay, not a so, piece of evidence. No, no, no. Okay. My bad, guys. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Steve. Are you sure that you think the Earth is flat, Uber? Yes. Okay, something but, something had to convince you that the Earth is flat. What was that piece of evidence or evidences? Uh, I hate that word, evidences. Those things, evidences. It's just evidence. What ev uh, What evidence did you did you see that you said, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I believe the Earth is flat now. Well, I think I told you uh, before, Steve, the last time uh, the Sun and the Moon. The first time I saw that, uh, the sun and the moon in the sky at the same time. Okay. Uh, how, how, how does seeing the sun and the moon in the same... Well, that just, it made me think of, well, what's on the other side of the ball. But beside that, that that's just what got me kicked off uh, as far as even digging into this over a year ago. Um you, I don't let's think. Not too far yet. Let's let Reds uh, handle those two um, those two pieces right now, and then we'll go a little right, bit deeper. Reds, that way, it's start not, with the uh, the curved involved. water. By the way, we have curved water in the live chat, so that's already debunked. Hi, curved water. All right, so go go ahead. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead. Hold on, real quick, guys. Real okay. Red, uh, real quick, dude. The sun and the moon thing. I know. I already know what you guys are gonna say. Regarding that, okay, uh, I went round and around with Steve and uh, who was the guy on the panel? He had Goop. Uh, I don't want to mispronounce his name. The Indian guy. Oh no, no, that was Ganesh. I think Ganesh. There we go. Uh, with Ganesh and all those guys uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, I actually I was hoping to talk to you guys about uh, some like some NASA history real quick. Because talking about rocket launches and stuff. Well, let's, um, let's do the uh, curve water sure. first. Uh, yeah, let's let's start. Let's start small. Uber. Okay. Well, we'll 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 get to uh, the rocket launches uh, later because that's well, always. Actually, I was gonna. Come. I was gonna uh, say the beginning. Uber, you're getting too. You're getting too excited, man. Let. <laughs> yeah, I know you're having a great let time. Red, let let Reds kind of <laughs> dress when they get a time. Oh, so the curve water. water. And I promise you're gonna get your time. We're exactly. gonna come to you. I promise. It, it, we, we will be coming back. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen one more time. So let's go ahead and do this, and boom. Okay, so this is uh, metabog.org. A good friend of mine by name of Soundly, who lives by Lake Pontchartrain. 
uh, sees this image all the time. He does this with the power lines of Lake Pontchartrain. He also does this with the overpass over Lake Pontchartrain. I have also filmed <laughs> uh, ships disappearing over the horizon, and I was able to also film that with my uh, my my uh, uh, Panasonic Lumix DFC FC70 and my Nikon P900 and see it multiple times. Um, here you can see the power lines actually following with the curve of the earth along with the curve of the water and you can see how they disappear behind. And when they actually modeled this shit on a computer system using like CAD for example, they were able to simulate it perfectly, no, no problem there. It actually matches the geometry of the planet that we are on, as does my ship over the horizon video. Um, I also have some uh, never before seen footage of a drone uh, during sun uh, sunset, I should say. And this drone is actually setting behind the horizon. As the drone gains altitude up to 400 feet, you can actually see the uh, sunset again over the horizon. And the horizon is nothing but water because at this point I'm looking right into the Gulf of Mexico. And if you give me a moment, I'll go ahead and play that footage for you as well. But we have evidence of water curving with the surface of the planet. But I also want to point out one more thing, and that is that the the uh, quote that water always finds its level. Correct. But I just want to say level. You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Uh, I looked at the definition of level, and it's in the same reference. They're saying flat and the opposite. Oh, so okay. you can go to multiple dictionaries, and it'll give you different uh, definitions. Um, so I looked up full, uh, level, and they they did uh, say it was flat in the uh, as far as the definition, and vice versa. I, I I actually, you know, that's that's amazing. So if you want to show so, me a, a flat uh, table with some curviness into it, that's not the way the Earth works. Okay, I understand. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to address like Pontchartrain on Stanley's footage. I call bullshit on that uh, uh, because um, he's that's, demonstrating that's curvy fine. linear perspective. If you don't know anything about that's, that, you should that's, know that's it. That's fine. That's that's fine. And I do now, have a. I'll, I'll, I do no, have no, no. a question. I'm going to trust the families and get this out. I do. I do have a question. I do. I do have a question. As far as an look, argument, look, guys, 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 guys. I, not everybody can I speak one time. I don't want to have to mute people. Okay, let uh, Debbie. We know that you have a, a, a an issue with, with what's going on with that, and we're going to we're going to and historical imagery of Lake Pontcharian because I looked up the historical records and I have not yet got the, you can uh, you can feel free to mute her at any time. Real quick, a wonton. Do you know wonton? He says he's a flat earther. Uh, I, is that name for real? There is. Because I mean, I, I think this is because. Uh, what, I'm, go ahead. Never mind. You, you do I know? said there has been an assertion that has been made. I just have a really basic question. That's that's all I have is a question. Can I can I, sure. can I ask that question? Okay, good. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to screen share. And I'm going to ask a question just based on what's being screen shared. Okay, here. Yeah, uh, De Debbie, Debbie, no is this line. is this show? Debbie, Debbie, yeah. you, you, is, you, you just go ahead. Debbie, is is this is the shelf flat? Does it have a flat surface? Okay, so if I'm only looking at the shelf, I see it is flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Only it? the shelf. All right, all right. It's flat. Okay, the shelf. Now, if I take the shelf, shelf away, is flat. Let me... okay, the shelf is flat. That's don't good. To, That's good. Don't, now, Debbie, don't get, Debbie don't get ahead of yourself. Debbie, don't get ahead of yourself. Debbie, don't get ahead of yourself. This is why it would be bad for me to so come here. So here, and, we, and, and here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's okay, Debbie. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. It's okay. We'll get there. We will get there. We will get there. Okay. So we. So you have agreed that the shelf. Is flat. Yeah, is, is, is hang on, hang on. We will get there. We will well. get there. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. It's hard. It's okay. I understand. I for one can't follow both of you at the same time, and I know that everybody else can't. So yeah. So so we're gonna have. Okay. We're we at the point now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are at the point. Debbie, we're at the point now. We have to mute you because nobody can hear what the hell anybody's saying, and there's no point of having a conversation if you just don't shut the fuck up for a second. Now he asked you a question. You okay, said it's flat. Now can we go well, to the yeah, second part yeah, of the question? I, okay, okay so here it goes. So, so here's the second yeah, question. Go ahead. So here is the second question. Since Debbie has agreed that the shelf is flat, second question: Is it level? Okay, so if I'm looking at the shelf, if I'm looking at the shelf only, 
I can imagine a um, you know one of those little things that you lay across the board. Is it to, level? Uh, with a little bubble. It's a yes or no question. Is the if shelf I isolate level? Just the, if I just isolate the shelf, to me, it's level. No different than... That shelf looks level to you. And, uh, and that purpose. shelf looks level to you? Yeah, if I was... Well, see, I have to enlarge it. I don't know what I'm getting at with this. <laughs> Uber, Uber, does the shelf look level to you? Yeah, Uber, you tell me that shelf looks level you also, with respect you, to her. There's also, a white, there's also some whiteness going on there, and you know that the white... We'll make an illusion that it might be. So, 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 if, so oh, wait a minute. If you if you put a ball, if, wait, wait. If, if, if you if you put a ball on that piece of wood, Debbie, Debbie. If you put a, Debbie, Debbie. If you put a ball on that piece of wood, would that ball go to the right or the left or stay stay where it's at? So, the, a round object. If you put a round object on that that plank, would it go to the right, go to the left, or would it stay where it's at? Put the picture back up. That does not demonstrate. A it, 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 it's, it's, this, the, it, it's, it's actually, I'm just trying to ask just two basic God, questions, and you're and you're and you're losing uh, your shit over isolate it. Isolate okay. this picture and so, get it off whatever this so, thing is. So, so, so Debbie, let, let me ask you, you a question. Slant. Okay, hold yeah, on, everybody, everybody, everybody. Around, around, around it looks flat. Chill out, chill out, chill out, Debbie. Let me ask you a question. Just me to you, okay? Are you are you fucking with me right now? I mean. <laughs> no. Come on, Debbie. Debbie the, the shelf. It doesn't. It doesn't Obviously, look level. It doesn't look level. Come on, Debbie. If I, if I if I turn my uh, device, it does look. I but you, but you know what? Level. Whether she's it fucking with, but Kyle, whether Aww. she's fucking with people or not, this is what people have to look forward to when you become a father. Uh, this is this is it. This is the <laughs> level okay. of dumb fuckery that's that not, you have to look forward to. Let's not get. Let's if not I get too out of control already. It's, right. We're starting. It's, it's, uh, one side's going up rather than the other side. Okay. That's, so okay. So it's. So there we go. It, it, okay, so Debbie has agreed that the shelf is flat, but the shelf is not level. Is that correct? The shelf looks Please say yes, Debbie. flat. Please say yes. <laughs> Please say yes. Please. And it does look level to me. Oh, oh my <laughs> fucking God. <laughs> Debbie, we were making such good progress. Uh, Come on, Debbie. Uh, however, it's on a tilt. Yes! Uh, yeah, you think okay. it's, if it's tilted... Uh -huh. Hello. There we it's go. Not a, okay. If a it's Debbie, tilted. if it's tilted, it can't be level. Exactly. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. So if you were, if you were to be high enough for this, I'm not high enough for this. Nobody can be high, high enough for this. I get that. But what Logic. does that have to do with the globe? I'm saying apply that to a globe. It's a meta. It's it was, a, it's a wait, a first of all, it had nothing to do with it. It was your, to your curved water and your understanding the difference between flat and level. I'm still for three years looking for curved water and I haven't okay. yet seen it. Okay, okay. We're going to try this one more time. Let's hope you can be intellectually honest enough to answer my question. Okay, so you're saying that the shelf is flat, but it is not level. Is that correct? If I'm looking straight on, right, it's not level. But the shelf is but still that's flat, not right? Water. Oh, for fuck's sake, just <laughs> answer the question. I did, I just did. But that okay, shelf so, is not water. So, so, okay, okay, Debbie, I understand this is a challenge for you, but I'm going to ask you for just a no, yes or a me. no. A yes or a answer. no. I told you the answer. A yes or a no. I told you, so, no, it's not level. I'm not okay. talking about... But no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just asking water. if the statement the is correct. So here it is. Water. So you're saying that the shelf is flat, but is not level. Is that correct? I said that if I was to lay a level there on there right now, the bubble would go to one side. Okay. Take it and so run. Yeah, take it and run. Yeah, just, just take it and run. Okay. Good, yeah, so basically, so so basically, flat does not equal level. So why the fuck are you using these terms interchangeably? Because I'm trying to look at the globe versus uh, a flat earth, and the flat earth makes sense. And I have yet to see water behave in such a way where it's not definition, yeah. my level. friends. By the way, we're, we're, we are not responsible for any damage to your desk. Uh, do you know what level from, means from when you pour something in a container and what happens? In the, we on, have a disclaimer on the non no show. We're not responsible for that. So, yes. Okay, so nobody wants to answer my question. Okay. Level That's just. Question, what level does that have to do with the, with the physics of water? Because all of, what I'm trying to say to you okay, is that well the fact that, that because I'm going to answer, answer okay, Debbie, can he cannot answer, answer your question. question. Let's, hang on one sec, Debbie. Let me explain well, this to you. With I want to see something. I'm Debbie, 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 let me explain to you this concept. 
Nobody can explain to you uh, shit if you ask a question that. and then you don't shut up long enough to hear the answer. Try it I out. It might work a little bit better. So wait, you ask the, the question. Is, uh, you ask the question. <laughs> now uh, now, now allow Reg dark. to answer it. It works so yes, much better thank that you. way. Trust me. Yes. Basically, the the thing I'm bringing up here is your misunderstanding of the word level. All right, level just means okay, perpendicular. Okay, you got oh me. my you fucking got me, god! Okay? I'm still oh gonna my see something like this god, on the water up. surface. A All right, lake. can someone just? Huh. Move I, hey, I warn answer. people: bring alcohol and, and face protection because we're can not liable. Just move so I can actually answer the question without being interrupted. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we're, we're, trying, just to said that you, we're you trying to get Wonton in here, but I can't. Wonton, you have to message one of us, and we have to give you the link. I'm I'm literally trying everything to tr to answer this fucking question. Okay, so I'm gonna try one more time. Hopefully, I will not get interrupted, because what I was trying to say and what I was demonstrating is that you have a misunderstanding of what it means to be level by your own admission. You basically said at the very beginning of this, flat equals level. And then I showed you a flat surface, not when being level. When I looked level. at the definition, and then you, that's exactly you, what it was said. And there she goes interrupting me again. Flat and level in the Then she goes interrupting me again. There she goes interrupting me again. Yep. Listen, you didn't interrupt. I hate, maybe I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to mute you if you don't. Uh, uh, Wonton, you sent me a message on Facebook, person, but right? while I'm streaming, it doesn't update my Facebook. I won't be able to get a message until afterwards. Uh, it's just a weird fluke that I have with Facebook. Um, you have to, you're going to have to send it to Kyle, and Kyle's going to have to get you the link. Uh, I got it. Okay, so, okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, guys, hold on. Here's what we're going to do. Debbie, I'm going to mute you for a second, and I'm going to let Red ask the question. And then as soon as he gets done asking the question, I will unmute you and allow you as much time as you need to answer that. But for the sake of people who are watching and for my blood pressure, we need to get on past one or two questions. So, Reds, please ask your question. And as soon as you get done, Debbie, I will unmute you so that you can respond. Okay, uh, not really asking a question, but more like answering a question. What is all? What does this have to do with anything? What was the point of anything that I did? The point of this was to show her that she has a misunderstanding of what it means to be level, because she said at the very at the very beginning of this, flat equals level. I showed her a flat surface not being level, which means we should be asking the question. Then why the fuck are you using these terms interchangeably? It, it doesn't make any sense. What it means to be level is just means it is perpendicular with the pull of gravity. So water can be on a curved surface and still be level. So simply saying that water is level, that does not prove a flat earth. So if you are going to tell me that water proves a flat earth, you're going to have to give me something more than it is level or because it is level. We agree that water is level too. It's just that you have a different definition of level than I do. There is only one thing that we can use to actually prove which is correct and not, and that is images. I have pictures of curved water. You do not have any images that show water not curving. So go ahead, uh, yes, be my guest. Debbie, okay, the floor is yours. So, wow. Okay, so... All right, so I'll I'll give you the one credit you got me. Um, but I looked at my definitions and it said it did said both words, uh, in two different definitions. Okay, so now you have okay, so you're talking about gravity. Is so this gravity thing is what balls up water to make a globe image? Correct. I'm sorry. What was the question? Okay, so I'm looking at globe images, and I'm wondering, how is water curving into a ball? And there's like, what, 70% Earth's water? How is it curved, able to pin it to a spinning ball? How is it curved? And I did, no, post no. An image, I did post an image of uh, the, the, the towers. So can you put that up? Because I'm not on my laptop. I don't know. what. Uh, how does a ball bend? The, the shape of the Earth is irrelevant to whether or not a water will be pinned to its surface. That's gravity. Okay, so this gravity is um. Okay, so what is the cause? What do you mean, cause of what? The cause for gravity. Mass. Okay, so explain that. Explain what I I I don't know what you, you got to actually ask a complete question. Oh. Okay, so to me, okay, so when I look at the ball Earth image. 
Uh huh. And so gravity's supposed to explain balling up all this water, correct? That it's pinning it to a ball. Uh, uh, It seems pinning nonsensical, pin. um, you know, that it's so that this gravity force is some type of intelligence that it pull, it chooses what it wants to pull or, Oh, or for let fuck's go sake. or float. No, gravity Yeah. will, uh, for an object of sufficient enough mass, gravity will always force it into a state of hydrostatic equilibrium with the effect of giving it a rounded shape. That's why all objects in space over a few hundred kilometers or so will start forming themselves No, into I don't want a to sphere. talk about space because you can't go out in space to prove these things. So let's just leave the Except space we thing can alone. and we did. Uh, that's to your understanding. You believe that you believe No, it's that been that's demonstrated. what's going on. No, you've never I, I proved tell you it to what, yourself. if everybody if everybody gives one to five dollars to the to the fundraiser, um, we'll move on to Uber here. <laughs> But Thank if not, you. you guys Actually, until, I would but, I would but like until to then, like to hear it. until It's a then, Lake we're Placarian. making we're making I wait, we know we're making I them posted a we're picture. making them suffer, and this is a ransom thing. If I so, I want to demonstrate you know. curvy linear perspective so I can get this Curvier, Lake Pontarian what uh, out the curved way. linear perspective? Is that what she just said? Yeah, and I sent Let her explain. I sent you an <laughs> image. Please do. Kyle, I sent you an image. Can you put the image up, please? No, I want to know what curved linear perspective is. I really do. Steve, Curvy she linear sent perspective. me a picture to you in the chat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Curved linear perspective. It, 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 isn't, it, isn't that a contradiction? I would think Uh, so, can I yes. can I post Exactly my pictures while what I'm out of here? Uh, this is not fair. Uh, you We're could getting have came, a you heavy. could came prepared to with a computer, but Steve, I'm still will trying you put to the figure picture out what up, the hell please? curved Yeah. linear perspective is. I don't Okay, know. Yeah, hang Kyle, on. Hang, can you put hang can you on. put Hang on. my Hang picture, on. please? Hang on. Uh, I just have I just have something I want to say. Uh, You did say enough. Can I please? hang on. Can I Linear, show a demonstration here linear of what? Um, is linear is defined as arranged in or extended along a straight line. Curved is the exact uh, opposite there's something missing of a straight in, in line. reality. Yeah, I don't straight have enough line. light on paper and Debbie, you don't a walk straight outside line, and see a exactly straight what's going Debbie, on. Debbie, I know, I know you failed geometry, but a straight line is I two did not. I want you to post my pictures. two two Steve, points. put If the, you will don't you post put the my picture pictures, up I'm not, on the no, screen, my, please. no, I can't, I can't, I can't, yeah, One I can't. goddamn thing. Yeah, I can't. Um, it, I don't want to manipulate anything because it'll screw everything up and I'll slow up my computer Oh, so that's not just capable. real great. Put it over top of where my picture Dude, is, why or can't maybe show I can any of my it from pictures here. I'm at all? screwed. Then Yeah, I'll I don't go know. on with this. Well, you could if you just would get off a phone and onto a computer like I did. Yeah, aren't you on a computer, No, Debbie? I'm not. I do have I mean, one but that's I mean, not working I mean, like most properly. of us learn what a line is, a line segment, an array in like, Uh, like I've been elementary on a panel school. and they should, they uh, put my pictures up, so I don't, Hold they on should one be second. noticed, I'm getting but I can't put my pictures up. Uh, hang on. I actually uh, would like to ask Uber. Uber, have you ever heard of curved linear perspective? We're, Is we're, that we're getting honestly that that's a new one on we're me. getting thumbs up just out of pity. That's <laughs> thanks, guys. Nice. They're liking the video out of pity. That's how that's how we, how bad we've gotten. It's Oh, just pity anymore. a line is a line. I thought. Okay. All right. Here's your picture, Debbie. Okay. Well, you can have a curved line, Thank you, but thank you, anonymous, for the five dollars. Somebody named some somebody named anonymous. Um, yeah, five dollars. anonymous. Thank you very much for that. Oh shit, he found me. So there, there, there's somebody who wants this to to, to move Okay, on. Debbie, there's your there's your picture. Please continue with with the point that you wanted to make on with this. Yeah, you see more power lines there. That in Sally's images, there's no way that you're going to demonstrate curvature from the um, you know from the surface of the water. It, it's an appearance. That's where whatever you would the demonstrate lens is doing it from. That's the whole making point of this the picture. water look like it's ball and curving or whatever Here's Okay. the next. higher altitudes to see some um you know curvature Oh, higher altitude. Okay. Yeah, that actually reminds me. Thanks. and next image this is um would demonstrate curvilinear uh this is uh you could draw these in pictures so yeah these uh, posts that go on this water it's because these they're converging uh, to the center uh, so this does not mean it's going around a curve period you can have this <clears throat> you know extend for miles well not i mean not in reality but uh, you could if you wanted to if you had a little shallow Okay, are you done? Can we just agree real quick that Yeah, so, whether yeah, it's curved so you, or so flat, if you're not sick, those are some yeah. pretty pictures? It's fucking outstanding. Yeah, absolutely. Uber, I like you already. Yeah, I told you it All was right. a little more sensible. Okay, Well, so I... let me go ahead and play this. Uh, can you uh, broadcast my screen to everyone, please? Uh, yeah, like that I can do. Uh, one second. Okay. I, I I would ask this question of a certain someone, but I'm just going to ask this of Uber. Uber, quick question. 
Uh, this is a sunset, right? That's what it looks like. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. Uh, the sun has already set. You don't actually see a sun here, right? No, the not sun really, dude. Okay, cool. You don't actually see see a sun. Let's gain some altitude and see what happens when we do. And up, up, and away we go. Oh, is this a drone? And we are gaining altitude. Yes, and we are gaining altitude, and we are going up high. This is from the Mavic Pro Alpine Wide Edition, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from Tampa, Florida. This is fucking and cool. I mean, like, is, seriously. It, now, 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 question, question, Uber. Uh, is is that the is that the sun com coming back into view? Well, yeah, no, that is the light of the sun. Yeah, yeah. So, but but the sun, like right here, that's that's the sun coming back into view. Now you can actually see part of the disc of the sun that was invisible before, right? Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's almost at it. So basically, it's exactly what we would expect to see on a round Earth. It's almost as if geometry has to do with how far you can see, not whatever they think perspective is. Kazuba, you gotta admit the sun would be below the horizon. I mean, the way it's looking, the sun is below the horizon. Is as you move up in elevation, you're now looking at it from a higher perspective, and you're seeing the top of the sun. Right? I mean, that that's I clear. That could not happen on a flat Earth. It would just be not possible. And and also, I just want to point out, this is looking out into the Gulf of Mexico, all water. It's a beautiful sunset, though. As if things could not get crazier, um, we Dude, have yeah, that is going by I'm, another party. I'm still uh, just blown like away to... by the photography, period, man. That is... That's just, that's just got talent period. in that shit. Say what you want, whether it's I, flat or whatever. He's got talent. I mean, his uh, ISS I, I video, good God. How many how many views do you have on that thing now? That's a 1. 1.2 million. What, he has 1. 1.2 million 1.2 million. Bastard. Yes. Hey, uh, one time, welcome. How you doing, guys? Hey, Wonton. So I, I hear, sure. I hear that you, you can actually debunk the the globe Earth and give us a flat Earth model and all that kind of stuff. Is that is that true? Uh, yeah, sure. There's just two questions that I have for the <clears throat> for the globe Earth model. Sure. That essentially just cannot be answered. I feel, and if, if Red's Reddick has an answer to it, I'd be surprised. Cool. Uh, okay. Do you have an experiment? Because I like experiments. I don't know about you. I like to deal with actual physical experiments that prove our observations. Mm -hmm. So do you have an experiment proving water can conform to the exterior of a shape? Exterior of a sheep? A shape. 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 Like never, can, can water go around a, a spherical object is what he's asking. Of any size, of any magnitude, doesn't matter what it is, any shape, doesn't matter. Show me a shape any shape you want, and then make water conform around the shape like the way the Earth is. Uh, in order for me to give you an experiment that conforms to the same parameters of the Earth, I would need to actually do this experiment on a planet that's just as massive as the Earth. You do so, realize this, right? Okay, okay, be beautiful. No, that's perfect. So your, your evidence, the reason you, you believe something that is impossible to prove with empirical data. No, I believe something that is possible to observe. No, 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 no. It's impossible to prove with empirical data. I'm a man of empirical evidence. If you do not have any empirical evidence for something that you're telling me, which goes against every known law of physics and nature and reality, no and I think on. you... Hang, hang on. So, so basically, you, you define videographic evidence as not empirical? Cool. Video, is that what I'm hearing? Videographic evidence? What videographic evidence? What do you, what do you what oh, no. Maybe, maybe maybe the drone footage. Yeah, the drone just played. played. And by the way, I, I, well, I, was, I, I, one time I should I was, point out to you real quick. What, what, I have a question for, for you. No, for no, no. no, no. What, you didn't, you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer I my did, question. I did. Okay, for so what you're, reason you're, do you define – how do you define empirical evidence? I don't know. If you're going to tell me water oh, is conforming – Oh, you don't know. No, can I speak? Can I speak? If you're going to tell me water is conforming to the exterior of a shape like the way the water is conforming around the earth which is supposedly round oh well maybe it's not round maybe it's a pear shape maybe it's an oblate but sphere what, you, know, what you, is guys are, you guys mean? don't even know what shape the earth is that's the funny thing but, but one so time, you're what, telling me one time what yeah, does, you got you got to start the basics here what does empirical mean and by the way don't you don't ask for scientific proof it's, it doesn't exist there's no such thing as scientific proof it's, it's silly to even say it there's proofs are in math and logic but you don't ever ask for scientific proof science and, not meant to prove anything he explains but what he, he asked you okay. what do you mean by empirical evidence can you explain to reds that show me an experiment no no no. you don't answer the question with a question show ask 
I'm not. Question, I'm not saying a question. question. I'm, saying, I'm saying what the empirical evidence is. Okay, what is empirical evidence? Evi uh, data that is acquired from experiments. Uh, okay, empirical is based on, concerned with, or verified by observation Correct. or experience rather than theory or pure logic. Sensor. Now, question, good, now, now, question, good sir. Are my videos cons uh, considered observations that I have made? Empirical means sensory. By the way. It's an observation, yeah, but you still okay, have, so no, have no observation. So therefore, so therefore, my videos count as empirical evidence, and if my videos show the curvature of our planet actually taking effect, as I just showed no more less than 30 seconds ago, then that is my that is my answer to you. I just showed you water conforming to a curved surface. No, you did it. You didn't show water. You didn't show water conforming to the entire Earth. And yet you are rejecting it by saying it's not empirical, even though it is. It did it. Okay, let's look up the word empirical. Okay, let's see. Based on, concerned with, or verifiable by observation or mm -hmm. experience rather than theory or pure logic. So words, do you have any? do you have any video showing the whole Earth with water going around it? Uh, it's impossible to see all impossible. sides. Of the oh, beautiful! So it's impossible to prove with experiments, and it's impossible to see. So yeah, I guess you're full of shit, so, honestly. So, so basically, because we can't see <laughs> all sides of the sphere at the exact Debbie, same time. Mute Debbie. Mute right Debbie. On. I, I'm just you just said it. You just said it yourself. I'm using your words against you. You said it's impossible to prove with an experiment because you could only do it on another planet. And then you're, you're saying you're it's impossible to see because, well, then you're just full of shit. And then what you're saying is a pure theory in the worst definition of the word. So so basically, you're, mis you're misunderstanding of what I mean. You're going to actually count a victory against that? Pretty pathetic, if you ask me. No, because, that's not pathetic. Because, I'm a man because, of evidence. I need okay, evidence. Then I need experiments. Then let's, see, that's then what let's, I like. see, let's see if you can catch your own fuck up here. I'm going to repeat what I said, and let's see if you can actually catch it. Okay, are you saying that it is possible, quote, you're, I'm using your words from, from, again, one observer, to see all sides of a sphere at the exact same yeah, time? Yeah, how does that work? How, how do you have one perspective? No, no, just like, not, wait, no, no. All the, not the whole, of course, you can't oh, see the oh, whole so the oh, okay. okay. There you go. The far nice. Enough. Very Listen, good. Far enough. So, far so, enough. So, so that you can see so, the Earth spinning and with the so, water around the Earth, right? That's so what, what I can about. show you. So what, semantic, show, okay. so what I can show you is half of the sphere being shown in one image, and what I can show you is data from not only Discover, Discover, but Himawari eight and nine. Himawari. <laughs> Himawari. Let's, okay, let's talk about yeah, Himawari. So, so, Himawari. No, no, hang on, before you go to Himawari, how, how does? Okay, hang let's, on, let's Montan, talk about Himawari. Montan, before you go to Himawari. Do you acknowledge what Red's just pointed out to you? You're asking for an impossibility, and from any no, perspective, no, listen, you're and playing then you're, semantics. Wait, no, you're wait, playing semantics. You, no, no, of you ask, you can't hey, see hang on. No, hang on. Bullshit. This is not semantics. You're asking him, hey, Red's, can you show me a square circle? And then when Red says, there's no such thing as a square circle, it's an impossibility. Oh, I got you. The no, fuck no, 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 no. reason is that? Listen, listen. You're playing this is semantical how you see this, to own a flat earther, speak? guys. Can I speak? Okay, you're playing semantical games with me. Of course, it's impossible to see all around an object all at once. Then why would you ask him for that if you that's already not, know it's impossible? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, show me an show me video from of Earth far enough back that you see the Earth spinning with water all around the Earth spinning in one motion. Then you <laughs> show me a square water. circle. It's the same goddamn stupid question. No, it's not. No, it's not. What are you talking about? You cannot see it from one perspective. Now, you can see the Earth. Yeah, it seems like the, the higher, from, you, you, know, the higher you go up in but... elevation altitude that you would uh, see some kind of curvature. And I've yet to see, the, see it yet. Only in fisheye lens and some type of camera just, uh, just distortions. Well, now we're getting into something else, whether fisheye lenses can actually uh, be used as evidence for anything. Yeah. Okay, so can I please address what you're talking about, the sun going over Act, the horizon? Yeah, the Discover, the Discover satellite is at L1. That's, that actually shows hang on, the entire De De Debbie, I'll do. Hang on, hang on. Debbie, I'll do with. Uh, Debbie, I'll He's do with respect. You are kind of steamrolling over something that other flat earthers were trying to get on. I've been trying so. to go get retrieve this, and I could, and I got knocked out of this off my oh, device. So please sake. let me present this as my evidence. I, I, to show, I, uh, to demonstrate that the, that a launch at nighttime was launched. It goes way beyond your little drone shit. Okay, so it goes up further than a drone, obviously. And this, it, it's night becomes drone. day. The sun is right there. It's very small. You see the localized light. Uh, sunset spots prove it. That's very close and not 93 million miles away. As um, how far away is the sun? Of science have propagated this uh, myth. How far away is the sun? So you can see it for yourself. If you can, if you deny how far it, away then is you're the denying uh, what your own eyes see, and you're denying empirical evidence. How far away is face. the sun? 
How far away is the sun? Uh, I never, I never gave it how far away. It's very close. How far to my away do you think? And, uh, footage, how far away do you think it is? It, yeah, but he just wants to know what you, how far you think the sun. How far is. away do you think the sun is? Uh, can you present my a blink footage? I, I don't know if there's copyrights to it, but if you, at least you can go through it and just take it through. From how far away do you think daytime, the sun is? The sun never went below. Went. How and far away do you think right the sun there, is? Just moved away yeah, to but, you know, hey, look, if we can't get it, we're we not can't up get there in high altitude Debbie, to see it move Debbie, away. Debbie, if we can't get an answer, how far away is there's the sun? no reason to continue. He asked you this question like 10 times uh, now. It's not, I'll how say it's not 93 million miles away. We're not asking what it's not. not. We're asking you what you think it is. Meets the observer. She doesn't know. That's her answer. She doesn't know. So you have no idea. You could even make a guess how far away the sun is. Not even pull it out of your ass. The I know it just shines on me. It emits light. It's very close. I see it with my eyes. The ancients saw it. They were what very, is very smart. close. It's way smarter than us. Is it like a mile away? away? Is it 15 feet away? Is it two they inches away? They came up with the math, trigonometry, geometry, and everything. They, point. Okay, they were okay, okay. Than okay. We are. We're getting actually getting dummy. De Debbie, we're getting dumber uh, down by uh, vaccines Debbie, and. Uh, Debbie. I'll go ahead. I'll You're go ahead and get down by a lot of things. I, I, I'll, I'll go ahead to give oh, your information. And I will go ahead and say. Go give with, that go assertion the time of day when you actually provide me with an actual figure for the distance to the sun. Until I don't need then, to give you a figure. Hey, Reds. Reds. Actually, you do. Reds. Since we're over I give you Reds. empirical evidence, Reds. and you take it as it is. Debbie, shut the fuck up. So, you Reds, can either accept it or deny it. Reb, we're over an hour here. How about this? Next person that donates, see, I, see, yeah, the next yeah, person that donates to you. your thing will kick And you her. don't want to dress it. Is that yeah, cool? Yeah, yeah. Next, uh, so the next person yes, that donates next, to his fundraiser, uh, no matter, I don't give a fuck if you give a dollar. Uh, we'll kick we'll kick her and move on to Wonton and Uber her because she well, obviously just doesn't, doesn't want more questions. Yeah. yeah, no, I would have yeah, Wonton. I, Wonton, I, I, Wonton, Wonton I, you know, he's full of shit, but at least he's not talking works. over people. And I don't <laughs> I, mean, I don't I tolerate that. Anywhere, so the next person, I'm Wonton. actually tr okay. I'm actually going to just say let me move on to Wonton or yes. Uber, please, because okay, so they, they'll right. actually so yes, I would love to skip. Yes, I will. You might okay, Debbie, you Debbie, you. Debbie, 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 your your evidence is so amazing. I can't, I can't yeah, fucking, you know. Yeah, Deb, even, yeah. I don't so even know. Debbie can sit in here, hidden from broadcast, and listen if she wants to. I'm not kicking her, but she can sit here and listen. Thank she's probably still much. talking. Yeah. She doesn't realize she's hidden from broadcast. But uh, yeah, go well, ahead. I have more. Debbie, we're going to stick That's around. We're going to stick around. I, but can okay. I? Okay. Any question for? Stop! 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 For my, for mine and everybody else's sanity, we're going to start from this point on and go in a totally different route where. People aren't talking over each other and everybody gets what they say, what they want to say out and their questions out fully before we have people um, saying you're full of shit and all this other kind of stuff. And by the so, way, let's just do this first. Wonton meet Reds. Reds meet Wonton. How are you? I, I'm, they're, they're already well aware of each other, I think. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure civility, man. Hi, civility. I, I'm Reds. I'm that ugly fuck from Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, okay. Um, and and I will be, uh, if, if it gets too out of hand, I will just mute the the person who is speaking at a turn, and I don't want to go that route, but I will. My, I, I'm at my limit to yeah. my nerves. So I think. one time, I need, why like, you... Xanax yeah, and so... a pass dispenser. Yeah, I think. why don't we just give him one time? <laughs> one time, bring it on. Bring on the I'll heat, baby. My, I'll go into my second question. So you yes. already conceded to the fact that it's impossible to prove that the Earth is. He did not concede. With, 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 with stop, making, stop making false claims. He did not concede. Go on with your second question. No, he literally said that you can't prove that water I, can conform to the exterior of a shape unless you're on another said. planet. So, yeah, and so, and, uh, away so that's that obviously that's impossible. That's not uh, what No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. Listen, 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 guys. It's okay. If Wonton wants to believe that, he, let him be wrong. Move on to your next question, okay, please. second question. Okay, well, you, you said it. Okay, let's go on to the next question. So can you, can you show with an experiment, right? Because I like experiments, right? Mm -hmm. So can you show with an experiment proving a, a pressurized atmosphere can coexist adjacent to a perfect vacuum with no solid barrier separating them? I can show you an observation. Oh, observation. <laughs> yes. Everything is just, oh, you just look at it. So uh, you just look that's at empirical. it. That's empirical. You, you Wait, you just said, give me empirical evidence. He says, I have observations. And you're like, oh, observations. Okay, so you, so you could see a vacuum? Yes. Which oh, really? see How do you, what does a vacuum look like? I will go ahead and show you. Would you like to see it? Answer yeah, my question. I want to see what invisible matter, look, invisible gas looks like. Oh, it's okay. Okay. If okay, it's good. invisible matter, it's not a vacuum. Yeah, invisible matter. I want, I want to okay. see it. Question first. Question first. Let's let's take this one step at a time, okay? Is that fine? Yes, but thank okay. you, Goddess okay. Iowan. You donated five dollars to get rid of Debbie, so thank you, Goddess Iowan. You saved it. Thank you so much for the donation, you sir 
or or yeah, I I assumed your gender. You know what? Fuck you. Okay, <laughs> I appreciate that, sir. Good stuff. It's anyway. A, it's a, no, it's yeah, I'm sorry. It's not a hers. <laughs> God is <laughs> I'm sorry. She's got me I'm all offended. fucked up, dude. I'm sorry. I'm offended. I, I am. Okay, you know what? I actually identify as an attack helicopter, so it's cool. Yeah. Anyway, so so would you agree with this? If I had a vacuum chamber, and let's say I had a little packet, a little like rubber sphere of gas, and I cracked it open, that gas would ex would expand rapidly into the vacuum, correct? Yes. Cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and play a video for you because I like observations as much as you like evidence. So here we go. And screen sharing. Please present my screen, good sirs. What you're seeing here is the Atlas V-551 about to do a launch. And as the rocket goes up, it does something that is, you know, impossible on a flat Earth. But it does something called a lumosity transfer. And this means that the expelled gas of the rocket, something happens to the expelling gas that is of the rocket. And this is what happens. As the rocket is gaining higher and higher and higher altitude, it gets illuminated by the sun. And look at that. We can actually see what is happening to the gas as it gets oh, higher God. and higher in altitude. <laughs> and as it gets higher and higher in altitude, as you said, let me pause it here, gas will expand in a vacuum. As it gets higher and higher, the gas expands wider and wider and wider. Which is what we would Okay, be, okay, so a, that what well, what's hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So as as we know, atmospheric pressure gets lower and lower and lower as you get higher and higher and higher in altitude. Eventually the pressure will be so low that you will be in a vacuum. Gases that are expelled in that environment will expand outward. And so here you can see the rocket is in one level of atmospheric pressure. As we fast forward a bit, it's at a different level of atmospheric pressure. And as we go further, it's at a very different level of atmospheric pressure. And as we go even further still, it's so fucking wide that you can't even see the gas anymore, even okay. though the second stage has ignited. Okay, I, this I, means, I understand. This means that this rocket was going into vacuum, which means our atmosphere is next to a vacuum, which, by the way, okay. does not... Okay, I understand. That's fine. So what is unique about that rocket that it makes that huge grand, you know, uh, observation with the gas is going out uh, in every direction? What is so unique about that rocket that all of the other rockets that we've ever launched in history for the past 50 years, that doesn't happen? Only happens to that rocket. Actually, you are wrong on that because it recently happened to a SpaceX rocket in California. What you are experiencing or what you are seeing there is the illumination of the gases from the sun. The reason why it's dark outside is because the sun is actually too far uh, below the horizon for everyone on earth the sun is not hitting the surface of the earth where you're standing however the sun is intersecting a uh an, an altitude way above us and so as the rocket enters the rays of the sun the gas is illuminated by the sun that has yet to rise above the horizon this happened recently with a spacex rocket during i believe an iridium launch so I, that so uh, I, in, in the 50 plus years oh, that we've man. been launching rockets this only happened twice years. no it has happened multiple times i just happened to film this one okay wonderful well i think you're still full of shit cool and bulanator thank you for your donation um they want me to remove her picture but yeah we could stare at debbie for a while she, she's she's actually, still, she's actually still in the hangout she's actually muted um so she's, she can actually learn something but she can't i mean with she's, the with the with the pyrotechnic technology that we have when you go on the fourth of july in new york and you look up and you see all these advanced you know super crazy pyrotechnics and the stuff we can do with that it's very easy to just do that, that like put, put some kind of put some kind of gases in the rocket and make them expel at certain pressures and certain altitudes and certain colors and just make them come out like that like it's not difficult. are you fucking with us yeah how does, I listen don't, this, listen i, listen, don't even know how I need i need an experiment i need an experiment of you proving to me that an atmosphere can wait, coexist wait, 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 adjacent hang on, to hang, on perfect steve, hang on steve hang on steve hang on steve i have hang on steve just let me take this you did not need an experiment to accept the premise that gases within a vacuum chamber will expand in that vacuum because chamber. Because we know and that from experiments. We know that okay, from experiments. Okay, so, so if you already know that from experiments, then why are you questioning my footage? 
because you can fake that. It's so easy. Oh, to just okay. Fake that. Okay, so I just faked it. Okay, well there no, you go, guys. Listen, no. the gas, the gas Fake of physics. what I'm talking about is the gas. The atmosphere of the Earth is is coexisting adjacent to the infinite, to the perfect vacuum of space. How come the perfect vacuum space of space is, is vacuum, sucking right? away? It's not a perfect. Hey, watch this Neil deGrasse Tyson and uh, Lawrence Krauss and uh, Michio uh, Kaku. I, 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 I got this guy. They'll say verbatim that it's a perfect vacuum. I, I got. I, I got this. I got this guy. I got this. And by the way, there will be T-shirts with this phrase printed on it. Thank you, Desert File Gravity. You fucking retard. Gravity. 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 So let's talk about gravity. So there's no evidence for gravity. Did you know that? <laughs> Cavendish experiment. Oh, uh, here we go. Cavendish. I know the Cavendish experiment. Oh, wonderful. Can so I, let's talk about the Cavendish. I don't think you're real one, Don. Oh, I, I, I don't, don't know either. This, can is, I, this is a level of fuckery that only a poet quick? would really kind of go out. Okay. I, yeah, I, I, I have, but yeah, that's all you guys I have, have to resort to, which is calling well, I, I have a question about Hang on, hang on. I have a question about gravity. Now it's time for me to ask a question. So the question is simple. All right, I have two ob objects in a chamber. This chamber is not in a vacuum. It has full atmospheric pressure in it, okay? So I have two objects. And let's say one of them is a rock, one of them is a bowling ball. So, you know, why do objects fall in that chamber? Just answer that question first. Why do they fall in the chamber? Correct. Why do they fall in that chamber? Again, atmospheric pressure, everything's the same. We're just putting them in the box. Why do they fall? Because that's just the immutable law of the universe. Objects which are heavier than the gas. Well, I'm, I'm echoing right now. Oh, okay. So, hang on. So, what you're saying is the atmosphere around these objects are providing the directional influence that causes things to fall. Am I hearing you correctly? Well, there's actually uh, some advanced theory saying that uh, uh, electromagnet uh, magnetism is causing the objects to fall downward. All right, all right, cool. So, so let's go ahead and uh, and attach this to something that's I don't know, not magnetic. Like, let's say a feather or a piece of paper that's walled up into well, a ball. Electromagnetism so, doesn't just affect objects, which are magnetic. It affects just about everything. Oh, for oh, fuck's oh, sake! No, oh, no, oh, Jesus fucking Christ! One, I've um, never, can I've we have never... a heart to heart real quick? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> I don't think you are. <laughs> Um, How high is this guy? I don't even know if it's possible to be that Magnus, high. How do they work? Okay, so Magnus, I mean, how do they work? Is it, is it is it or is it not the case that you think that the atmosphere plays a part as as the as, that the atmosphere is the directional influence that causes objects to fall? You don't need an atmosphere for them to fall. They're gonna fall regardless, but they're gonna float if they're lighter than the atmosphere, right? Like helium balloons. Yeah. Why why do objects fall? It's the density. It's the properties that make that's up just, the that's object. Just, it's, it's, it's some oh, things that just figured out. She air. figured out she was on a phone. She's still out. talking to me. Back. Yeah, but they can't hear on uh, the outside. So. Kyle, Kyle, I actually think you may need to do oh, some well, actual booting. Yeah, bye, Debbie. Was, huh? hey, but we think we got to thank her first. So I'm going to bring her back so we can thank her if that's okay because we're we're not told. I, I said bye to her well, a little bit ago. So Debbie, we we you know by the way, we Debbie, we thank you for joining us. Um, um, unfortunately, we just. We we think this is time for us to part ways, um, at least for you my. Want There's too many people in the room. Too many people in the room. God bless you. Um, the answer. Look, you know, shalom, alam Lakeum, bye bye. The, the yeah, the reason why we're kicking out is because you just don't ever shut the fuck up. You'll be back. So, yeah, yeah, back. You know, it's it's okay. We'll be back. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, uh, so get get back to why things fall. Okay, so the question is again. If I have objects in a chamber, they fall. We we agree on this. So my question to you is, why do they fall? You are about to give me your answer, and then Debbie decided to interrupt you. Right. I said electro I, I, listen, I don't know, because I'm not like super uh, you know, involved in this field of science and no study, shit. Like, but they say electromagnetism is the reason why they fall down to the Earth. Wait, who says this? But me, but me, me since, but me since I don't know so much about electromagnetism, who, I'm not going to say that it absolutely this? is. Who says this? Uh, you could look. I could post a link in the chat. He's actually one of the smartest people I've ever seen in, in probably my life. Is it, sure. is, it, is, it, is it Jaronism? Is it Jaronism? <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. This this guy is. There, there's like, somebody says really gravity is Tesla. due to electromagnetic. Is, are you talking about? Is, is, it's uh, not gravity. It's not grav. Gravity is, no is this nonsense. E, is this gravity EU is not theory? Is this electric universe theory that you're promoting? He believes in Thunder some Balls aspects Project. of the electric. No, he believes in some aspects of the electric universe, but I not all of them. Actually, actually, it's okay. I think you actually answered every question I was about to ask. 
When, well, I could let me uh, ask you another question. So why would they fall sure. at the same speed if, if you have the bowling ball and the feather? The bowling ball is probably, I don't know, 50,000 times the weight of a feather. How come they fall at the same speed? Because gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, and that's 9.8 meters per second squared regardless. It has, yeah, so exactly. it, doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter how heavy the object is. So, so mass has nothing to do with gravity. Correct, because right. gravitational acceleration ex still accelerates at a given rate. Mass Gar has nothing to do with mass. gravity. Is that what you just no, said? That's not what he said. He no, said I, yeah. no, that's not what I said. That oh. is absolutely not what I said. Okay, so if you have a gravitational acceleration value of 9.8 meters per second squared, you are going to accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared. Do you is that understand? the uh, not is that, the, is that not, based on not the... dependent on the on, on the mass on the you got to remember weight is a function of mass in a gravitational field that's what weight is wonton right okay so is that uh based on the g constant g does constant that some, does that have something to do with the g constant yeah weights are different your weight on another planet is going to be different because the g, small g is different okay so you do realize every time they've tested the g constant the value always changes right uh, by how much? Yeah, which what, by what they they I I read an article where they tested it once, and then ten years later they tested where it they, again wait, and the wait, value changed. Where did they tested that? You talking about you talking about small g or big g? Um, I don't know about that honestly. I don't know if it's okay. But they tested. They test. They did it. They actually did a, a mock. Uh, well, not a mock, but they try to get as accurate of the Cavendish experiment that they possibly could, and they tested it one time to see the g constant, and then they tested it again, and then the value changed by over a magnitude of a hundred, and then when they tested it again, it changed by a magnitude of ten. So the g constant is, is just total a bullshit. Magnitude of ten. Right. I, I, have you heard anything like that before? A magnitude of ten reds. Uh, let's see the Cavid the Cavendish experiment. I'm looking at magnitude of ten. So let's go ahead and see if we can find that. Uh, Cavendish experiment. Uh, nearly a hundred years later, when G was first measured in a laboratory, they realized that the Cavendish experiment had obtained a value of G that was accurate to within one percent of the current value. One percent is not that much. Okay, so let's okay, so let's yeah, so let's talk about good. the Cavendish hang experiment. On, hang on, hang on. So, so continuing on, a one percent change. Um, I don't know how good your math math is. Is not a factor of fucking ten. Not even close. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the Cavendish experiment. So when Cavendish did this experiment, he was so certain that that the gravity of everything around the object would affect the apparatus that he actually took the test a hundred feet away over a hundred feet away with the telescope because he didn't want his own gravitational field of his body being you know just let's just say on average 150 pounds he didn't want his own gravity to give an erroneous result to the test so he would take the measurements with a telescope and look through a hole in the barn and see the shadows and then he would take his measurements down so if it's so sensitive that if a human being weighing just say on average 150 pounds is going to affect the test that means that the weights on are the opposite ends of the apparatus have to be absolutely to within the micrometer the might the microgram they have to be absolutely perfectly the same exact weight i would love to know how we had that manufactured of weights being on opposite ends of this apparatus which also has to be absolutely perfectly balanced within you know a 164th of an inch and then he has these two weights that they're absolutely perfectly with the same exact weight with the ratios to the microgram how did he get those things manufactured over 300 years ago the cavendish experiment was remarkably sensible uh sensitive for its time the force involved a twist and of a torsion balance very well you're filibustering you're filibustering you're filibustering you're not answering my question times 10, 10 negative newtons you're not answering my question 50 millionth of the weight of a small ball so that was roughly the weight of a large grain of sand to prevent air currents and temperature changes from interfering with the measurements cavendish placed the entire apparatus within a wooden box and thick wood tall wide in all closed sheets in the state, okay, through two holes of the walls in the shed. Cavendish used a telescope to observe the motion of the torsion balance of a horizontal rod. This added that the balls did not need to be the same way in order for the value of big G to actually be determined. So why would he stand so far 30, away from it? 30, 35 seconds on Google, people. 35 seconds on Google. It's amazing what you can learn off just a quick little search anymore. I mean, back. So back why would he stand? So why right? would he stand so far away from it? Because of something you said, like literally thirty and seconds. I, I don't even know. I don't even hear what what the reason was why he did why those two objects didn't need to be the exact same weight. 
Okay, do you know how a torsion balance works? No. Do you know what torsion yeah. means? Do you know what torsion means? Nope. Or the... <sighs> I need a drink. Before you get into some of this stuff, can I, can I ask them a question? Because I'm really kind of curious. Because sure. every time a flat earther kind of comes in and they, they start asking all these technical kind of questions, then you ask them something fucking simple like what torque is or something like that, or torch and, or, or, you know, like kinetic energy, anything like that. They have no idea. So, I mean, what, Wonton, what makes you think you can evaluate these types of things if you don't even have literally like a junior high level of understanding of physics? What, why do you think that you have well, something special? Never, look, well, hang on, I, hang on, let me finish. Why do you think you have something special when, but you don't even know the terms? You don't, you don't know. If I ask you what torque is, do you know what torque is? I never said that I don't. I know something special. I'm just asking questions. Torque is I not can't that ask special. questions. Okay, so so you kind of see my point. You can't ask questions, but you can't you come into a room and say that somebody else is full of shit when right. Um, you, you well, don't you have no experiments proving what you okay. believe. Okay. Okay. okay, the experiments so, again. So, so here, yeah, because here's what you can do: you can take those two spheres and you can actually you can actually find the average between them because the torsion balance actually has two uh, pairs of spheres actually doing the twisting motion to find the big G gravitational constant. By taking the average of those two spheres, you can pretty much get rid of any discrepancy between the two because you're actually taking the average between the two. That's what the string in the middle is for. The string in the mirror in the middle literally acts like a buffer between the two. A light focused on a mirror that's attached to that string will actually show a dip, a a a a, a panning of light that hits that string. Which is why when people do the Cavendish experience experiment now, they use lasers and they have to be that precise. They have to be that critical about it because the force is so weak because we're not measuring the fucking earth here. We're measuring two very, very, you know, thick lead spheres. So you take the average of the two based on the string and based on the torsion and based on that torsion, you get a force. You can measure that force and calculate it as big G in reference to the average of the mass between the two strings. You're taking the average, not one over the other. And it's been repeated and he did a few times. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, Reds. Don't they repeat it every couple of years? Yes. And guess what? As the equation for big G gets used and used and used, they get more and more and more precise. And as they get more and more and more precise, yes, the value does change. But where he's getting this bullshit that it was wrong by a factor of 10, I need a citation yeah, on that. Know, 10, is a, 10 is a hell of a lot. Big, that's a lot. Of, I mean, you're, you're, I think we were yeah, all like, seriously article. crushed to death if, if, if G was off by that kind of magnitude. Yeah, I had the article. I didn't save it to my bookmark, so. Yeah, so so you would have a uh, – so basically you take the average of the two. That's all you need is just the average of the two. That's what the string in the middle does. It acts as the average point, the a, the average torsion point on that uh, scale. Okay, and he did this 300 years ago. Correct. Wow, it's amazing that's wonderful. Can, it, it's amazing what you can do when you know what the fuck you're doing. And right? it's been replicated? Yeah, yes, it has. Wow. Okay. So in a, and now in order for you to app, accurately replicate now when he did this, <laughs> he was in a barn, right? Okay. So <laughs> so we have to the gravity, of, the, gravity of every, the, the gravity of everything yeah. around it is going to affect it. If he didn't oh, have Jesus. the apparatus in the, in the perfect center of the barn, the weight of the walls around that's the barn is going to affect the test. That's not how an experiment. Oh, works. you sure? Yes, well, that's when when positive. they do it in high school, they make sure. I don't think he went to high school. No, I'm saying that when they do it in school, like when no, they replicate I, I don't, this I don't, test I'm in telling schools. you right now, I don't think you went to school. I think you didn't go to high school. Me? Yes. No, I did. Are you sure about that? I mean, I mean, you could just insult do me for have, no do, reason. That's fine. Do you fine, have an experiment I... that showed you went to high school? <laughs> an experiment? No. Yeah, okay. Well, if you have no experiment, then you have no evidence. So we can... Okay, please. Okay. Do me a favor. Okay, so when they replicate this test in college, right, that... There's actually videos on YouTube where it says in the description that the test is so infuriating to replicate that it takes them hours and hours and hours to, to do it because they, when you see the guy, he walks up near the test and the, the little gust of wind that went near the freaking apparatus, it throws the whole test off and the ball starts spinning so, the so other the, way. So the fact it's a very sensitive experiment in... in to... It's the, the most sensitive test you could possibly imagine. I mean, nope, I can't even nope, think the... of... A note, test that's more sensitive. Note the use of the word difficult and not the use of the word impossible. Correct. 
excellent point. Yes. I would say that it's probably impossible to do it. No, no, no. It's I will I will actually agree with you partly there. It's impossible for flat earthers to do, but it's not possible for people who actually went to school to do. No, I would say it's impossible to get every single uh, parameter and every single uh, you know precaution to be dealt with to accurately get a accurate uh, result from the Cavendish experiment because if you, even if you have a radiator in the room, the radiator, the heat from the radiator is going to create, you know, the, the air to go up and it's going to make a little updraft and every little minute thing has to be taken into account the, the apparatus has to be in the in the correct, center of the room, in the center of the gravity of the room there can't be which there can't is, be any objects around why, it. and it's like it's which is it's why which, which is why modern cavendish experiment scales actually have the torsion balance in a sealed off closed containers to oh wonderful any... so how how did he get it to, to within one percent back then when he didn't have go to maybe the, maybe the reason why it was uh uh, it was one percent inaccurate to current values because he didn't oh, have wow. a container. So, so that's, that's pretty yeah, negligible. Also, that's pretty yeah. negligible to you know we go through, we spend millions of dollars to to, to replicate that's this Cavendish experiment and millions of dollars. Vacuum, oh, wait, 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 millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Uh, hang on, I got a question for you. W would you like this Cavendish scale? It's about eight hundred seventy dollars off of Amazon. Wow, no, 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 no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I can, about, can, talking I about can get you this one. I can get you. I can get you this one. Constant. I can. I can get you this one for a thousand one hundred seventy-four dollars. This is by Advanced Physics Labs. This is from the Online Science Bar. Let's go ahead. And right. Well, the hell, the, the cost of the actual apparatus. Damn. Yeah. No cost for a million dollars. How many of these can I fucking get? Okay, the cost of the apparatus it doesn't really mean anything because it also you have to Damn. pay the people to do the test. You have to pay for the laboratory. You have to pay for can, all can of I, it. Can I get that job? I would love a million dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah, sure. I, yeah, you probably do anyway. It seems seem like you're, you I might mean, be I'm, reaching a little bit, Wonton. <laughs> before you answer, uh, Uber, are you still alive? Uber. Uber. Do I have to, Uber's do I have to get my phone out it. and call it? Uber. Is there an app? Uber. Call Uber. I think. I think there's an Anyways, app for this. Um, go ahead, Wonton. Does it seem like you, you might be reaching a little bit when you jump from stating that the the cost of an experiment is X, and then when it's proven that it's not X, you then go into factoring all the the pieces like the staff and all that. No, other no. Kind of all I'm saying is that they spend a lot of money even when i seen the article the article had like these gold plated steel you know apparatus with these you know uh cylind cylindrical steel balls that look like they were probably within a okay. microgram of you know with the difference in weight you know in order to do this you need advanced machining technology number one so you need to have these parts machined for you that costs a lot of money i actually used to work in a machine shop that we machined parts for uh for the navy actually i was a welder there so i know what it takes to machine these parts what it takes to, to make the blueprints you have to make the blueprints for these parts you got to send it to the shop you got to get samples you got to you know it's not as easy as you think it is you were in the navy and that you goes think the earth is flat not i was not in the navy i was not in the navy okay. i was not in the navy Thank God. i said i was working in a, i was working in a shop but let's say that, that let's say we, we parts grant for you the navy. let's say we I'm, grant you that it was expensive what in the grand scheme of things does that go to to prove on, on your well, end. what I'm saying is the cost that we're putting into getting an accurate result from the Cavendish experiment is directly related to how it is impossible that this guy Cavendish could have ever done it 300 years ago in a barn because it's just I don't think it was a barn. how you yeah. how, how how it was a barn. How and, you and, gonna, and, there's and, no advanced machining technology back then to get these weights even within an ounce of each other. So you know, how did, how did he, what he, do you have? So what do you have? A steel you're uh, saying cutter, that he never, uh, a chisel? Well, you said that he never, so you're saying this experiment never happened. It could have happened, but hang I don't on, think hang, he could have ever gotten it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me just go ahead and ask people. And actually, not in this hangout, but in the live chat, a question. Okay, and oh, the winner gets a, the the, the winner gets a shout out from, from me. I don't understand how Cavendish could have done it. Therefore, he didn't do it. Please, the first person in the live chat, please it. name the I fallacy. Do I could do it. Just no, that's, that's, that's a given. I know I can't, so I'm not. No, I'm not going to take away. The, no, hang on, hang on. We have a, we have a thing on the table. I already know what the fallacy is, so because I'm not an idiot. But uh, mm -hmm. go ahead, live chat. What's name that fallacy? And also, also, I do want to point out that there's there was two things helping Cavendish a lot. One, he had a lot of time on his hands, and two. He was kind of introverted all to fucking back. That's not an argument. That's not an argument. That's, so, not, an argument. that's, not, that's bullshit. Hang that's on. not an argument. Not done yet. Not done yet. Not done yet. So here's the thing. If you spend a metric fuck ton of, uh, fuck ton of time doing an observation, doing 
an experiment doing this thing that he did and you do it day after day after day after day after day after day after day to get your results and you average those results out after doing it multiple times over who knows how long he did it for then you are telling me that getting the average of all those results which were in his fucking book at the time is impossible right and by the well, way it's funny how you <laughs> Let's get this out there. Okay. Quanta, I will, we will accept argument from incredulity, argument from ignorance, or argument from personal incredulity. Right, but that's a straw man because I didn't make an argument. That's not a straw man. That is n- Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't. I didn't say that's that. That's not it a straw man. Those are actual I, I, legit fallacies that you committed. Any one of them would have been. No, fine. but I didn't make that fallacy because you I did mean, not say conclusively that it did not happen because I don't believe it. I didn't say that. And then when you, you asked me if conclusive. I said that it didn't happen, I said no. I said maybe it happened, but maybe it didn't happen. I just said maybe. That's all I said. Okay. Okay. Here, here's the thing. Let's hypothetically. Let me give you this. Let me give you this. I'm going to go ahead and give you something on a silver platter, and in fact, I'm just going to platinum plate it for you. I'm going to give you that Cavendish never existed. That story is complete bullshit. He never existed. It was a fabricated, made-up story by the lizard people that work for the Illuminati, which is also a sub-branch of the Freemasons. I'll go ahead and give you that right now. How does that have anything to do with the value that we are getting now with modern machinery, modern precision? Well, the G-Force is constantly changing every time they test it. It's changing by how much? Well, in the article I read it from the one time they tested it, changed it by a magnitude of 100. Citation. We went from needed. magnitude 10. Now we're up to magnitude 100. That's a tenfold thing. Right on. So and, how, and how do we know that these, I mean, it's literally just an article. It's just a thing online that so, so shows wait, so, one so image. I, so I, how, do, how, do, how do you even know just, that it's I even what they I probably shouldn't, I, I, shouldn't put too much stock in that. Yeah, I want to wrap my head around this. You're saying that an article on the internet disproves pretty much all of known science. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm actually saying that the whole article could be bullshit. You think, or you don't, or you're not understanding it properly. It's right, pretty much one or the other. No, but the the, the reason because someone who I was debating on uh, another known atheist channel, I don't want to plug them, but whatever. So they were sending me articles proving the Cavendish experiment, and then in that article it says over there on the bottom, oh well, when we tested it, it changed it by this much, and we tested it on this time, it changed by that much. So that just means that it's just total nonsense. Like, uh, how could it be changing by so much what if we have all this advanced? Was, was it a mean, science article or just like a? It was a science journal. It okay, was. It was. But... Do you have the link for it? Uh, I, I'm look. I, I I typed in. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna look for it right now. Okay, I, I, I looked up on Google factor of 100 Cavendish, and the only thing I'm seeing here is a math problem from Mathware. I'm going to look for I mean, it right do, now. But, but, Juana, you do kind of understand that no matter what the value is, G can be figured out just if you know the mass of the objects and the, the, the ratio, the, the radius between them, the square of the, the radius between them, right? So if you have that information... You can find G, and then the the more specific you get as far as the exact amount of mass and the distance, you can therefore get more specific things to G. How are you going to have factors of 10 or 100 when obviously either the, the distance has to increase exponentially, I mean, a huge amount of difference, or you have to have some wave factor difference in mass? How are you going to get so much of a factor of 10 to 100 of G varying that much? Would you? I, I'm such at a loss to even think how you can even comprehend that. That you would think that I'm looking. Way. I don't I, believe I, that they're seeing any objects uh, being attracted towards each other. I think that's I, a little mess. I, 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 think... I, I, I went ahead. I, I went ahead, and actually, that's bullshit because we have video of it actually happening. And secondly, well, I think the video is bullshit. Ahead, I went ahead and looked at yeah, bu- yeah, videos actually happening. Yeah, okay. So with uh, the Cavendish experiment, I'm looking at a paper by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Physics Department. Uh, this is a paper from June 7, 2001. It also gives a value difference from what was give, what was given then to what has gotten now of literally 1%. I went ahead and took a look at another paper, which is from MIT, uh, dated April in a, actually, no, that's not the day of the paper. That's the date this was actually posted online. Well, whatever. MIT is actually showing another one where it also gives a 1% factor. Where are you getting this factor of 100 from? I'm looking. I'm trying to see the article right now because okay. it was in a thread. It was posted in a thread on a, a big, very well-known atheist call-in show. Uh, you mean the atheist experience? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, by the way, those are those, those guys are not scientists, by the way. You do realize that, right? 
No, I do realize that because so they why, always why would somebody call in about the cabinet? Oh, well, I don't, I don't well, hang on, hang on. Why would somebody call in to the atheist experience experience to talk about the cavitus experience I, I, experiment? I don't. Well, where's the relationship? I was there? calling. I was calling in to uh, prove that flat Earth is the absolute number one evidence why, for intelligent okay, design, why, and that okay, atheism, so, and on, that atheism is wrong. Hang on. Do you understand I that don't they're give a shit? They're so goddamn different. Yeah, it has nothing. Atheism, flat Earth, nothing even remotely related to do with each other. Oh, yes, but they absolutely since do. You brought it up, but since you brought it up, um, remember, yes, absolutely on do. April the 24th, guys, we will have Matt Dillahunty here joining us. Shameless plug. I, I, um, I, want, to, I want to go ahead and ask... Flat Earth who is an atheist, with atheist, but not a flat Earther, okay, so okay, there you okay, go. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Might, might have some legitimacy, hang on, uh, there, but whatever. Uh, hang on, Wotan, I, I have a question for, for you, if I may. Sure. Okay, so this is going to get slightly off topic, actually totally off topic, but I want to kind of move it along here because we've been bitching about Cavendish for a while, and quite honestly, fuck that, you know, introvert. Uh, so here we go with the next question. I have been looking for someone to demonstrate something for me, and I am willing to give $4,000, a drone, all my cameras, and my car that I don't yet own yet, uh, <laughs> you know, to uh, any flat earth that I can actually do it. So please... Are you able to demonstrate to me how an equatorial mount works on a flat Earth of any shape? Equatorial mount. Oh, hey, I right. found the article. An equatorial telescope mount, please. Can, equatorial can you please? telescope mount. Explain what that is to me. I don't know what that is. An equatorial mount is a telescope that only has to rotate on one axis to keep the uh, planets and stars or moon or sun or whatever orientated the same way in the frame. So only, you're saying that the, tel the telescope would only have to move in the X or Y direction and it could keep the planets in the same Same frame. orientation in, in the frame. So, for example, if I were to look at, a, uh, at, at the sun rising, so let's say, um, let's say you, have a, you have a fist. Put your fist to your left and put your fist all the way over your head as it goes out. So it rises fist up but sets fist down. Uh, an equatorial mount would keep that uh, sun or moon or whatever oriented the same way in the frame. Because you attract it the entire time from, from, from sun, some, from yes. up, come up to some to sun down, wherever the star, you know, coming up. It'll actually track it and keep it oriented the entire time, rather than having it x and y like an, uh, the altitude type, where you just kind of go like this and move it like that. That won't track it. Yeah. So an equatorial Correct. mount will actually, so as you do it, it'll actually track it across the sky and maintain the proper orientation. Okay, so if uh, were, will you be able to uh, tell me or show me uh, any way that that would work on a flat Earth? I have no idea. I don't know if those things exist. <laughs> I don't know. An, an equatorial map doesn't exist. I, I have a telescope right outside the, the right here. Um, so and you're on the equator. Uh, you don't equator? need to be on the equator. <laughs> you don't need to be on the equator <laughs> to have an equatorial <laughs> mount work, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, uh, wait, wait. So you think that an equatorial mount works only on the equator? That's why they call it an equatorial mount. That says I don't know if the equator's in there. <laughs> I, don't, I told you I don't know what it is. Clearly. I don't have to know what it is. Yeah, that's the problem. Um, wow. I, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm just, I uh, can't. I'm just too sober for this. Uh, you don't need to be on the equator for an equatorial mount to work, dude. What the fuck? Equi and obviously equatorial mounts do work by the mere fact that every single astrophotographer Sorry. that's worth a damn actually uses them. I actually uh, closed the link on accident. I was tabbing through. So I sent the link to the article if you want to look. It says uh, it says, uh, 10 times it changed since so the last time they measured it. So is this like does that mean like polar coordinates only work at the North Pole? Do you, you can only use them at the North Pole? Oh come on, nobody gets that joke. Come on, <laughs> polar coordinates. Oh, I would think that at least red is right, that funny. I'm hurt. Uh, okay, okay. Can I get a pity see. laugh for that? Are you going to only use polar coordinates at the North Pole? Pity, something, anything? Oh God, you guys are a tough audience. Uh yeah. Uh Steve, can you do me a favor? No, I'm can you bring up like a note. A notepad. Bring up a notepad. I have some numbers. I want. I want to uh, go ahead and give um, you. Let me see how I can do this here. One second. Uh, just, just bring up a fucking I'm, notepad, dude. It's I'm not that hard. Working on it. Well, it is when your computer, when you can't type like more than one letter every five seconds when you're streaming. Come on. Real quick, while, while you're while you're doing that, um, while, while you guys are getting that set up, 
Uh, let me tell you guys that tomorrow, um, I don't know why, but we're going to have a seemingly continuation of this discussion um, with R and Raw and Jaronism. So um, there will be more uh, uh, please forgive tomorrow. Us. And then, <laughs> and then on Thursday, um, if it couldn't get any more contentious, we're having the uh, gun debate on Thursday at eight o'clock. And as with SJ Thompson and uh, RM, uh, is, my brain is is fried right now. So forgive right. me, RM. But uh, so the uh, the article. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I got the uh -huh. notepad. What, what am I okay. doing on notepad yeah. here? Okay. All right. Thank you. So I, here is all the values it. given. Here is all the values given from that article. So the first value, Steve, six point six seven three times ten to negative eleven. Okay. okay, you got it. Mm -hmm. The next value given in this article, 6.67259 times 10 to negative 11. Okay. The, the next one, 6.674215 times 10 to negative 11. Okay, I'm not saying order to the magnitude of 10 here, but go ahead. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's more. Uh, six point six seven five five nine times ten to negative eleven. I see you guys like uh, the number six and all your values for everything. Six six six, baby. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Right, if, well, if you curvature, curvature if you, from here, the hundred if, miles, six thousand. If you really start going into numerology bullshit, then you really have nothing yeah, going. Yeah, it's that's just that's a little coincidence, sad. you know. That the, the axis of the Earth is, you know, the difference in the axis. You know, of the Earth okay, so just The number to our number to our show is actually seven four seven six 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 three seven one. It really is. We yeah, have, we have uh, a call in number, and it, it is six 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 sec one. And, and by and by the way, by the way, and you wonder what else is a coincidence? The first person that donates six hundred sixty six dollars, you get a shout out. Oh. It must. It must be. It must be a conspiracy. And if you get a, yes. if, even if you donate six dollars and six six cents, we'll give you a shout out. Uh, but anyways, so those yeah, are numbers. So you want to you want to average those together, or what do you want to do with them? Because I don't. I do not see a magnitude of ten in in any of that. Matter yeah, fact, I don't see a magnitude. I mean, it of says change. it right there. It says moreover, they claim to have discovered the reasons yeah. for the errant measurement that led to the factor of ten increase in the uncertainty surrounding the constant. Last year, however, two U.S. physicists reported the most accurate measurement ever, and now a team of researchers from blah, 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 BIPM, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, in France and Birmingham University in the U.K. has reported the results of another experimental toward D-force. Moreover, they claim to have discovered the reason for the inerrant measurement of the factor of 10 increase in the uncertainty surrounding the constant. Big G is the difficult to measure because gravity is by far the weakest of the four fundamental forces and because it is impossible to share experience from gravitational influence of their environment. Today, the official, <laughs> hang on, today, today, the official value of G is 6.673 times 10 to negative 11. The original Cavendish experiment was 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. That's, you, sir, can suck that's the my same dick. Big, I know. How do you get a magnitude of 10 when it's both to the negative 11? Do you understand how exponents work? Big my G God. is difficult to measure because gravity is by far the weakest of the four no fundamental shit. forces because it is impossible to shield experiments from gravitational forces That's of why their they environment. Keep repeating so I, would the experiments. To, I would I would love to know how Cavendish got such accurate results three hundred years ago in a barn with no advanced machining technology to machine the parts for the apparatus. Absolutely ridiculous. Impossible. I don't want to hear anything. I never okay. All right. So so again, guys, again guys, again guys. Uh, again, guys, name religion. the fallacy he just committed. Name the you fallacy, have a, guys. You have, a religion. you have a religion. That's a guaranteed fact. So, Believe me, so, I was I was an atheist just like all you guys. As a matter of fact, I, I wait, was wait, 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 wait. Oh, hang oh, hey, no, on. Don't, don't go there. Don't, don't go there because I'm not an atheism. atheist, so don't yeah. fucking still pull that yeah. shit with me. Well, and two, you don't want to go on the atheism yeah, thing. Yeah, because atheism and this flat earth have nothing to fucking do with each other. I will be happy to discuss the other topics with you. Listen, listen. And honestly, dude, honestly, dude, just about five minutes ago, I'm I'm a born-again Christian, so now you can't use that shit. Yeah, he's a theist as of like five minutes ago, told me. Well, you believe in the ball, earth, so. I'm a theist. I had Jesus come inside me, and now I feel whole again. And guess what? I still think the earth is fucking round. Oh, that's I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of Christians that, that know the Earth is not flat. Trust me on that one. 
Um, well, that's another fallacy that appeals to that a popular fallacy? belief. No, 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 no. That's, that's not appeal, a, appeal to populists. No, no, it's not. Right. Appeal to populists would be if I was saying that it's the case because of popularity. I'm just saying that I happen to know Christians. I'm giving you anecdotal evidence based on my, my personal experience. Learn your fucking fallacies correctly. Jesus, I'm not well, that Well, anecdotal hard. evidence is not evidence. Okay. Anecdotal okay. evidence, okay. Is, anecdotal not evidence okay. is not Basically. evidence. Uh, I think no, you, might be, so, you might be so quite mistaken in that because anecdotal evidence is submitted all the time in legal proceedings. Okay, listen, well, listen, and, and here's the thing: I don't, I don't actually evidence. want, Stick I don't actually one. want you to get legal get away with something. Different things. I do not give a shit if you were an atheist, a Christian, a Mormon. I don't give a shit. I don't care if you used to shave your head, put on a jumpsuit that was pink, and you called yourself the Messiah. I don't give a fuck. Your arguments suck. No, they don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they no, do. They really do. No, you have no experiments for anything that you believe. You have already conceded to that point, so that's uh, basically means that you're religion. So, so basically, yeah, the two wait, videos wait, wait, that Reds, I showed you. Where did you see that? Reds, did you ever concede huh? that? I didn't hear Gretz concede that. Did you uh, concede I, that? I, you have no experiments? He said that you can't. He said you can't make water conform to an object unless you're on another little planet. He literally said that word for word. That's, but that's not. Oh he, my fucking god! Not, first of all, that's not even close. To what he said, but you just said that he has no experiments that demonstrates anything. Do you understand how many experiments we actually have that do demonstrate the Earth is okay. not flat? He just gave you one with a drone. Uh, okay, listen. I, listen. I, 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 I do. I do. I, okay, here's the thing. You're getting confused between experiments and observations. So let me explain to you how this shit works. Okay. I do not have the money to launch a fucking rocket into space. I have enough money for a drone, but not a rocket. So when I look at a rocket and it does something that confirms something that I've been telling people for fucking ever, that does not make my observa observation invalid just because I didn't do it myself. Okay. Otherwise, flat earthers have a bunch of shit on their hands because because they like to take the wordings of some fuckface from 1881 all the time. Oh, you didn't do it yourself, therefore it's not true. Bullshit. Secondly, when I went ahead and did the observation with the drone, ships disappearing over the horizon and everything like that, we are seeing that we are doing those observations over water that are conforming to a geometric fact. This geometric fact is that of a curved surface. I don't need to pop a planet out of my ass, fly your ass out to space to look at it from afar to confirm that the that water is conforming to a curved surface. Not only can I do this in Florida, but we can do this at Lake Pontchartrain. We can do this in the United Kingdom. We can do this in South America. We can do this in South Africa. We can do this in Japan. We can do this everywhere, which means the curve is literally everywhere. Well, your uh, lake, your lake train is just a refraction of the what? light, right? And guess what? That's not all. That's not all we can do. But we can also do some basic observations of, uh, I don't know, the sky and show how equatorial mounts work, why the angular size of the sun remains constant throughout the day and year, and why they all point to a far sun off of a curved surface, as soundly pointed out in 2017. Surprisingly, no flat earthers decided to join in on that observation, even though they were invited. Surprisingly, no uh, no flat earthers seemed to have drawn me to see a rocket launch, even though they were invited. And up, surprisingly, no flat earthers were able to take my drone away from me by demonstrating how an equatorial mount works on a flat earth. You literally have nothing to support the flat earth. So for that, I ask you one final question. What positive piece of evidence do you have that the earth is round? Or I'm sorry, flat. <laughs> I would say that number one, when you go outside, now this is not the, the when you go outside, you see the horizon is flat and level. Number one, number two, you never see curvature at any altitude. So that means that Positive. the that excuse Positive. me, excuse me, excuse me. That means the null hypothesis is that the Earth is flat and motionless because you do not feel anything spinning, nor do you see any curvatures. Therefore, the null hypothesis is that the Earth is flat and motionless. That is the observation that accords directly is perfectly in accordance with Occam's razor. Like if you add anything to that you're taking away from Occam's razor. You're putting you're adding more scenarios right. to the observations which are not necessary. With the same way that you were adding an assumption when you said that all of my observations, footage, and measurements were fake. I did I, listen, I didn't see any of your uh, drone footage. I was just signing into the chat. I didn't see them. But I don't, <laughs> I don't want to see them. It doesn't matter. You did, the earth you is flat and motionless. Uh, you, can't, can't. You, summed, you just summed up your position right there, one Tone. You don't want to see it. You're yeah. not interested. Yeah, show them. Show them. Yeah, show them. Okay, so 
Okay, so I literally have five minutes left before I have to head off to work. I mean, so, so you, but, so you do me, agree that the, that the flat Earth is the null well, hypothesis. No. Actually, it fucking hey, is. Can I ask you a question real quick? I yeah. haven't had a chance to say a damn thing. You got yeah, go a question minutes. real quick. Yeah, go, it's, go, it's a simple yeah, question. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, guys. Which is stronger, gravity or a vacuum? That's... What's, what's gravity? Doesn't I don't know. That I'm, I'm sorry, means. but gravity doesn't have which is stronger, gravity or the vacuum of space? Hang on. Which is stronger, hang gravity? On, or hang vacuum? on. Hang on. Vacuums don't suck. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying suck. that. Vacuums not saying. like a mover. When we're talking about a vacuum. I know. Vacuum, I understand vacuums, that. Vacuums. But vacuums always vacuums, try. Vacuums, will always try to create equilibrium, right? Vacuums don't suck. They don't draw anything. There is no force in a vacuum. Right. So your question is nonsensical. No, but they're always trying to create equilibrium, right? No, that's not the vacuum. No. It's the pressure that, that's on the, that's going. If you're always going to go from a regional no, higher concentration or something to lower concentration. So the vacuum is not okay. sucking anything in. Higher just, concentration right. to lower okay. concentration. Okay. Right. Let, me, so, let, me, let me explain this. Let me explain this uh, one more time. The atmosphere around you is at 14.7 psi that's because gravity is pulling on the atmosphere so there is a weight of air right above your head it's a column and of air. so what is, happens and, if and, you hang don't on, have hang gravity. on hang on hang on and that's why as you get higher and higher and higher the air gets thinner and thinner and thinner because gravity is going to pull most of the air towards the ground you know towards towards the, towards gravitational center towards the core of the earth that's where gravity is pulling and okay so as you, hang on as you get higher and higher and higher the air is just going to get thinner and then you'll be in a vacuum vacuum does not mean suck it doesn't mean pull it doesn't mean do anything so gravity is going to win okay i get that so experiment, it, experiment. Out. so so but so vacuums don't suck, but if you didn't have gravity on Earth, what would happen? What you just said, it would, you, you would you would not only lose the atmosphere, you would lose all of the fucking Earth, actually. Exactly. Where would it go? Well, all of the Earth. Well, yeah, okay, I get what I get. What you're the saying. The entire fucking Earth would I, I basically. I get what you're saying. I get what you're <laughs> yeah, saying. Yeah, so you wouldn't have. Yeah. Saying, you got bigger you problems. Do not then. know how badly you. No you shit. do not know how badly you fuck shit up by turning off yeah. gravity. Yeah, I mean, so well, you basically just, destroy okay, the world so to support your flat earth. A narrative. vacuum, a vacuum will pull everything. No, it won't. A vacuum does, a va no, it won't. A vacuum does not pull anything. A vacuum does not have a pulling force. Well, okay, so then, so then, what's destroying the earth then? If you don't have gravity, because there's nothing to hold it together anymore. Run, Reds, okay. run! Oh my and, god. What's okay, happening? okay, okay. Listen, listen. And by the listen. way, yeah, I wanted to point this regardless, out. Regardless, regardless, oh, go I'm going to, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to kind of have to fuck off because I got shit I got to yeah, do, we're, we're which is called job. So, so here's the thing: whether or not you understand how our atmosphere works, you cannot argue with this unless you want to assume that I fake something. I just showed you a rocket lifting off that was illuminated by the sun while it was still dark at my location. It was illuminated by the sun. And, and that. <laughs> You're and asserting that, that. And that. And that. Actually, no, no, I'm not. And I have a picture. You are asserting that. I'll you show no that idea. later. I will that. show it's you that later. Night sky. I will show you that later. I'm going to start meeting that. Guys. And real Let quick, finish. Uh, Reg, so okay. Sean says we have permission. We can't do it now because you're leaving. But he has, um, he has footage very similar to your own about... Uh, um, I don't know what he's. Uh, I know he has I a lot of drone footage, but he says he okay, says okay. You, we could we could use his drone footage if we need to. But uh, I know you have. Let to me get let me get this shit out there, please. Okay, so I just showed you footage of a rocket lifting off as it was being illuminated by the sun while it was still dark at my location. That showed the gas as the rocket got higher and higher and higher, and therefore into thinner and thinner atmosphere, showed the gas being expelled out, expanding more and more and more as the rocket gained orbit. As was just admitted when I first was bringing this up, that is exactly the characteristic of gas that we should expect to see when it is going into a vacuum. So by the observations that I have done, by the observations that honestly anyone can have, anyone can do from california to florida you would be able to see this and just to make sure i nip this in the butt before it becomes anything more than what it needs to be the assertion that is made that i did not 
uh, filmed this rocket launch going into the uh, going into the sun. I didn't stop at a video. I never stopped at a video. In fact, I actually took an image of that gas plume that was uh, that was after this actually happened. And so I leave you with the aftermath. Suck my dick. Wow, you're so intelligent. I am. Wow, Thank wonderful. you very much and for I, I like that. I, got you it. Guys, I, I do love this picture. Yeah, you have no experiments. You guys have been fucking have amazing. Been, Please no donate experiments. to the GoFundMe yeah. that is linked down below. I really appreciate it. It's going to help me a lot. And for the rest of you, I say have a good night and remember – Keep thinking. And thank no you, Reg. And I want to. I want to thank the people that donated: Gage, mm -hmm. Iowan, uh, David, Anonymous, Anonymous, uh, Anonymous. Make it stop. That's my favorite one. Thank you. Make it stop. Um, and and Todd and <laughs> so Steve, one time Skywatcher, and, uh, a bunch of and, people and, donate. And so. Uber. But I love that. I think one. we're gonna Make have. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you want, we'll have you both of you guys back sometime <laughs> do we, do we uh, to, to uh, continue this. Really? We'll love to, man. Peace out, guys. I'm out. Uh, thank you, Reds. Okay. And, uh, okay. We'll, okay. Reds. Yeah. Team Android represent, by the way, we'll bathe the blood of our enemies. Peace. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have you guys um, back at some point. Uh, we're, we're, we're getting our feel with uh, Flat Earth debate this week. Um, like I said, tomorrow, guys, we have r and Ra and Jaronism at 8 o'clock uh, sharp. And then Thursday, the gun debate also at 8. Uh, Friday at 8 also is the roast of Kent Hovind. Saturday at 8, we have the discussion we were supposed to have last week with uh, Dr. Stephen DiMattei on contradictions in the Bible. Sunday at 8 also, we have the um, Sci-Fi Sunday as always. And then Monday, we're joined by Rags at 8 for a discussion on Gamergate. So you are hopefully be spending the next seven nights with us here each night at 8 o'clock. That will be fantastic and we have a few things that are working on planning after that as well so anyways thank you guys for watching uh we really appreciate it for all you people that donated to reds it is greatly appreciated he's done a lot for us he's been very supportive to, there are a lot of people in the community and we i think it's it's great that we're going to be able to give back to him so with that kyle and thank you wonton and uber for uh for coming into the lion's den yeah thank you wonton yeah, thank anytime you. okay and we like i said we'll, we'll i like kyle said we'll, we'll bring you back we'll have more discussions like this i'm fine sure. with that okay Definitely. Awesome. Right. Good night, guys.